story. I really don't care. Yeah, I like hatred. Really killing man to man, arms to weapons. That's what kept me on. But how lucky I was to get an invitation for it. What's up, everybody? I don't know if you guys can hear me. Oh, the game, man. One of those dead cats who made it all it's time for me to get in on the fun. Even if we're not yet strong enough for Rhoda, this is still our step four. So I would let someone like you get in my way! Whoa. Are we ready for this L? I don't know if we're ready for this L, bruh. I, let me be clear. I want Xbox to win. Do I smell game of the year? Do I smell Gotti? I think that may have, that may be Gotti, bro. That may be Gotti. Super a rare. Oh, I think it's super rare. Right? Dreams awaits you. Welcome to the cavern of dreams, bro. In this 3D platformer, you play as Finn, a young dragon whose unhatched siblings have been kidnapped, bro. Explore densely packed worlds full of puzzles to solve, it's not an Airbnb, challenges it's a lot of to overcome, oh. and treasure to discover. Bruh. Damn. Poor Xbox. The whole cast of strange creatures and whimsical characters. They we went all the way back. Help. This is a time. <laughs> Yo, is it 2023? And help raise them to be strong. What time is it? Deeper to find new These mofos went back all the way to Robotic N64 to graphics. And discover who stole your Bruh, siblings. they went and back to N64? Oh, Lord. Jump, fly, swim, strike. Oh, my God, Save bro. your family from the darkest What is death. this? The mystery is yours to explore in Cavern of Dreams. Oh, my God. Poor Xbox. Poor, poor... I'm gonna pour one out for all of Xbox, bro. Pour one out for all of Xbox, bro. You pour one out, bro. There you go. That's for all the for all the homies who have an Xbox. Bro, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything from Xbox. I don't want to hear anything from Xbox, bro. I don't want to hear anything. Goodness gracious. Wait, aren't we supposed to get Spider-Man today? All this looks like Xbox, bro. Is it, are we supposed to begin Spider-Man today? <laughs> what PlayStation got besides Spider-Man? Are you joking? They literally have everything.
But wait, Xbox is tomorrow, right? Let me fix the title. Xbox is tomorrow. This looks like Xbox anyway, wow, so it didn't matter. I have, I have two bottles in the eyeball. This looks like this looks like room game, bro. All right, we're supposed to be waiting for Spider-Man. That's the only reason I'm watching. Oh, Pete! Can we check Pete's real quick, bro? Because like, for I mean, what, why is there three eyeballs? I tried, man. Yes, <laughs> five. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, I, oh, I got stolen. Oh, 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 flower in the laboratory. Shout out, bro. I saw that uh, uh, they're supposed to be showing, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Starfield, isn't it? Do one more, or what's up? Yeah, we could do one more. Okay. Yeah. We can do one more if I'm not <coughs> human. <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal and what's your name are hosting the show. Why wouldn't they show Spider-Man? We came to this rogue planet to build something that could save our own. Underground, we discovered something beautiful. And a mystery we couldn't explain. Bro, what is this? And that's where you come in. You see the new gameplay of MK1? Uh huh? Yeah, I guess. It looks it looks legit, bro. Humanity is I really wish I could buy that uh So am I. The collector's edition. Let's but. get to work. Can't buy that. Bro, who cares about new games if your new games are shit? Yeah, Xbox has a ton of games. They're just shit. That's all. Xbox literally has nothing to compete against so, Uncharted. So, Donovan for. seems to be handling his predicament well. All things considered, I mean. You sure it's this way? It's I do want to help in any way I can, Kai. You can help by staying out of it. No one showcase would really oh, matter except like I thought I'd lost you. If we're gonna be honest. Was that Donovan I heard on the radio? What, you're spying on me now? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not home. Oh. Oh. Land up by some big ass silos. Power station. I'm traveling at home. Wait, power station? Out here? Hey, Donovan. Donovan, you copy? <sighs> Bro, what is that? Arctic Awakening? This is good. How would you react to Spider-Man's not show? Bro, of course Spider-Man should be shown. Spider-Man is literally hosting this event. Tell me another excuse we all have coming. Boom besides Spider-Man. Um, Final Fantasy. What are we talking about? Final Fantasy, uh, yeah. Wolverine, uh, yeah. Like, what are we talking about? It's not, here's what Xbox fails to understand. It's not the quantity, it's the quality. Uh, Project Blade, what are we talking about?
got some bushy? Oh my god. That's definitely Xbox. Yeah, Steam, same thing, Xbox. Xbox Steam, Lord in heaven, they got bushy on games now. Damn shame. Lukester, we have to cop this, brother. Game of the year. <laughs> Game of the year, brother. For all the PC people, is there anything that you've seen that can compete with the PlayStation exclusive? Because this is what I hear from PC My people. My memories are slithering. Who Place are you? What is this, bro? PlayStation has made PC great again. You become my lover and break the heart. Set us free from the brightest heat. Bro, what is this, fam? This is what they play on PC, bro. This, this is what they play on PC. Have the audacity to talk about Spider-Man. Have the audacity to talk about God of War. Have the audacity to talk about uh, uh, Wolverine, Uncharted, Stellar Blade. Final Fantasy. This is what they eating on 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 PC, bro. This is what they eating on PC. They eating shit. Meet Playdate, the little one-bit game console that comes with a crank and 24 free games. Plus, people are making great new Playdate games all the time. Here are just three of the latest. I'm Rakashi, and I'm working on Faraway Fairway, a golf game of hope. I'm covering secrets and exploring mental health, and I can't wait for everyone to play. My name is Bravery Covers. This is Cord, and we present to you Un, the rhythm game where you move and shoot on a beat. My name so, is Spencer Garwin, lead game designer of Quantum Planet Basketball. Long range shooting, high flying, slam dunking, hard stuff in basketball fighting game action. Learn more about these games and are so these many like others. Special at needs kids? Slash games. Not to be mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but are they special needs kids? That's what they look like. If all of my interruptions were that interesting, oh my I wouldn't God. mind them all that much. But now it's time Are we really to get doing your hands dirty. If you want to travel through space, you have to take risks. The cosmic forces that be have aligned for the Galaxy Fund kickoff, and it's starting right now. We're I'm all joining a, forces a to help guys. uplift developers with bold new ideas who are working to bring their experiments to life. Over 200 of you have already contributed. And I'm sure you're seeing some familiar faces. Bruh, what is it? All funds go directly to developers making new, really, really cool shit. And now, it's your turn. Put on your goggles, roll up your sleeves, and YouTuber, let's make bro. some galactic chaos by contributing to the Galaxy Fund. The future comes from innovation. I've already seen it. All we need now is you. Fundraisers happening right now till June 24th. Let's get atomic, baby. Do you think Project Deep is still coming out? Power supply in New Jersey. What do you mean, Stellar Blade? Yeah, supply. I still think it's coming out. Power, huh? Why wouldn't well, that be? Well, I had just the thing. Computer, switch to solar. Let's get some energy back. Initializing solar power. Are we getting a disagreement day tonight? Possibly. I don't know how. 
how the audio would be. F-Days allow neural link human trials? Where do I sign up? That's my thoughts. Where do I sign up, fam? I want to be a part of the cloud. Bro, what is this? I think what Nick Merck said was dumb. Because he, they took him off of, uh, what was it? They took him off of Call of Duty, right? Because he said, leave the kids alone. If, I think if you're not in the political arena, I think you should probably be quiet. Like if you're in gaming, stick to gaming. Don't don't try and be gaming and then go over to politics. You're not gonna have a good time. It's actually pretty good. To be honest, I'm really waiting for Xbox to give me a, a reason to buy the console. Other than that, it'll stick with 360 and Xbox One. What is the future game showcase that Yuri's hosting? I don't know, I thought this was it. But this can't be it. Because this is, this is dog shit. Wait, it's 1 p.m. Eastern? Wait, so it actually is 1 p.m. Eastern. Actually, 1 p.m. Eastern. Cause I'm not watching this, bro. I'm about. I'll turn off the screen. We'll start up again. This is complete ass. This is only indie games, about 30 indie games in total. No, it's 11 a.m. Which one, Pacific Standard or Eastern? Bro, I'm about to fall asleep. It's 11.20 Eastern? Bro, then we got hours. We got eight, nine, 10, 11. We got about four hours until the show. Lewis, what PS2 game would you like to completely remaster and put on the PS5? I would like to see The Warrior. I would like to see Kinetica. Only OGs remember Kinetica. You know what's better than an Xbox? Your mom's box. Why do you think anything Xbox showcase will be tomorrow, bro. Yeah, I got I got the time to fix up. Although this does look like an Xbox showcase. To be fair, this does look like an Xbox showcase. Microsoft 
Microsoft Xbox games are from about 10 a.m. to the standard 1 p.m. 10 a.m. and then 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay. I'll be ready for that. game show is 1 p.m. Eastern. So I could be sleeping right now. indie games early copies. <laughs> Bruh. Who's getting the collector's edition of Spider-Man? One thing I need to talk about, I got new videos on. I wasn't expecting all this, all this news break so quickly. But... Why does why why aren't they doing a, an actual physical disc for Spider-Man? They made over six billion dollars, but they can't give us a physical disc in the collectors, the premium, or the deluxe. Come on now, stop it. That's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense.
How about an afternoon nap? Bruh, I woke up early for this. I could have been sleeping. I heard they are making the live service games priority for more budget future games. Already pre-ordered MK1? Yeah, but did you pre-order the collector's edition? Stories tell of a time. But I've been looking for the collector's lost. edition. I can't find it. And we could no longer Everywhere it's, it's uh, freaking taken. We had forgotten how to gather distant resources. And we could Everywhere, no longer right? explore our vast horizons. I can't but find it anywhere, bro. Never lost that way. No. Our problem is survival. All out of stock. We must defend ourselves. All out of stock, bro. We must seek out and defeat our enemies. We must restore the Airborne Empire. It's gone, yeah. One thing I will be up for, and I had a chance to buy it, bro. I didn't know it was all digital. I went to the store, I went to GameStop, and they were like, oh, you can get it online. Bruh, I was so upset. I was so upset. I'm gonna be ready for that Spider-Man, though. I'm gonna be ready for that Spider-Man. As soon as it hits the time, I'm gonna be like, because I know that's about to sell out. I know Spider Man's about to sell out. That gets downloaded for cents on their phone. I don't know, man. Apparently, these games have a market. How'd you like the MK1 7 minute bike trailer? I thought it looked good. A lot of people are upset, whether it's the graphics or the gameplay. I thought it looked, I thought it looked good. Only thing worth it for the collection edition of the statue? Yeah, facts. Facts, major facts. But they charge them three hundred dollars, bro. Do you understand they're charging three hundred dollars? That's crazy. Like Spider-Man One's collector's edition. I don't think it was three hundred dollars. It was like, wasn't it like two hundred? Yeah, they're getting greedy, bro. They get mad greedy with Spider-Man. You got shitty ass skins. No DLC, right, with the collector's edition. No disc. Building, breaking, and then building they give you a, a, a stack. We're always climbing to new heights, on, trying to find the best ways to express ourselves. I'm still gonna buy it because I'm you know, a Spider-Man whore, but ship. come on, man. <laughs> yes, yes, with help, of course. Team what are tonight's effort. disagreement mm -hmm. topics? I Enough don't introspection. Don't want to become too sentient, right? What Let's finish off with some cosmic know. bangers. Something to get our blood rushing. I picked these. I just turned this on to wait for Spider-Man. That's you. it. <laughs> that was literally it. I was just waiting for Spider-Man. Brother, we need to talk about that rabbit movie you <laughs> no, that was just the, the <laughs> that was just the salad. It was actually really good. We had salmon. It was salmon. Uh, mashed potatoes. I think it was a a, a, a what's it called? A roast or whatever. It is. I forgot what it's called. They know we spite you with facts, dragon. Facts. Major facts. 
Because to be honest with you, let me turn this down. To be honest with you, when it comes to like uh, Mortal Kombat 1, I'm like, I'm not super upset that I can't find the Collector's Edition. Like, it's whatever. Because even with the Collector's Edition, that statue looks like ass. The Liu Kang sculpture, it looks like straight ass, if we're gonna be honest. It looks like straight fucking ass. So, other than that, I'd probably just get a. a I'll probably just get the premium edition if that's the case. Because the only thing that. Is the only difference between the premium and the collector's edition the, the statue? And the art print? Is that the only thing? Is that is that the only difference between uh between collectors and uh premium? Does anyone know? A lot of those skins in the collector's edition look like outfits from Destiny or Marvel Spider-Man 2. Yeah, I, I don't know. They look like trash. I know they were done by other artists, but I'm like. They must have had crazy restrictions. Because I'm like, those suits look like straight garbage. Maybe great continue ass. looking out for the best the galaxy has to offer. And although Future of Play Direct is exiting transmission range, the show isn't over. There's okay, good. I was worried you were going to come back right to my Where you can America find all of the these sermon. cosmic no, bangers and never, more. Never, bro. Plus, there's a never. whole other world out there. A wholesome one, in fact. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Let's steamroll into the future together. Melios, signing out. See you on the other side, dear player. Oh, the Secure the Five stream? Bro, I gotta put that back up. Let me see if I can put that back up. I had to change the password again. So. I don't know why they keep messing with me, bro. Just leave me alone. You have to get the statue, otherwise you're not a real fan. Bro, when it comes to Mortal Kombat, I can't get... I don't know what you... I don't mean, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do, bro. I'm looking. I don't know when they're going to they're gonna release it, but, uh, I mean, I can't find anything. Can't find anything, bro. I'm trying to get the collector's edition. Nothing. But that's Spider-Man freaking... That's Spider-Man freaking... Uh, uh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be three hundo, bruh. Three hundo. That's crazy. All these videos. Let me edit. Change the visibility to... Xbox fans hacking your account. Oh no. Oh yeah, the Uber drives my five. Yeah. <laughs> Securing the five, man. That was a. Uh, that was uh, that was something else, man. That was something else, bro. Getting that PlayStation Five was something else. Where was it? Securing the five. What's the video called? Secure. I'm trying to find it. Secure. Where is it? There it goes. I'll just make you a Spider-Man session. Okay, but no, no, no. The Spider-Man statue? No, I'm definitely getting that style, bro. What are we talking about? I'm definitely getting the Spider-Man statue. Don't, 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 don't talk crazy. I'm definitely getting that. I will, I will rob a little, little child to get that, bro. I'm definitely getting the collector's edition for Spider-Man. I was talking about the collector's edition for, uh, for uh what's happening oh my god let me do this
I was talking about the collector's edition for uh for Mortal Kombat. Wholesome Direct, then Future Game Show. Oh, bro. So Wholesome Direct, then the Future Game Show. Uh, then Xbox Showcase? Oh, that's tomorrow. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. That's going to be amazing. That was one of your best dreams. Hope it wasn't needed due to the hack. I'm trying to find it. Do you remember what it was called? In that five was a <laughs> that was uh that was amazing that was amazing statue for MK yeah let's talk about MK bro y'all seen MK I've seen I've been looking at the the gameplay uh for quite some time bro. Because people have been uploading videos. Apparently, these mofos got access to, to, to playing the videos. To playing the game. I'm like, I want to be invited to play uh, MK1. You. But here's the thing. Here's what I like about MK1. Based off of... So when it comes to uh, the, the, the Fatal Blow, bruh. I'm so glad... That they made Fatal Blow like Injustice. Instead of them just pressing a button and it automatically goes. Now. Now what happens is you get a little animation. And then it starts. And I'm like oh thank you God. No one's going to be. No one's going to be hoeing me doing a. Uh, here we go. Unboxing the PS5. Hoeing me doing a freaking. Uh. Uh. uh a fatal blow, just a random fatal blow. Oh my gosh, shoot. Alright, that video's public again. Gotta update it. We need all the Raimi Army videos. <laughs> the Raimi Army. Yo. Good times. That's crazy. The Raimi Army. Y'all remember that? That shit was crazy. <laughs> they learned their lesson, bro. They definitely learned their lesson. I'm not concerned. Uh, I'm not concerned anymore with the uh, with Spider Man because I'm like they learned their lesson, bro. They ain't, they ain't gonna pull any goofy stuff, bro. That's not what's gonna happen. They ain't gonna do anything stupid. They're not gonna do anything stupid, bro. I already know that, bro. They're not going to do anything stupid. They know better. They already know what suits need to be in the game in the PS5. They already know what suits. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because I've honestly been playing the PC version. To tell you the truth, I've been playing the PC version. I haven't turned on the PS5 to play Spider-Man. I've been playing the PC version with all the mods and everything. I'm like, this is, this is amazing. Because after looking at the PC version of, of the Raimi suit, and then going back on to the PS5 version, I was like, yo, this is some bullcrap. This is some, uh, it looks like ass. Like, it looks like straight ass compared to, to, to the, the PC mods. I was like, damn. I didn't know it looked like such ass until I started uh, looking at the, the PC mods. I was like, damn, that... That Raimi suit looks like ass on, on the PS5 or on the PS4. There we go. Damn, I did a whole bunch. Did pre order suits for Spider Man 2 look garbage minus the Ar Arachnite suit? When it comes to uh uh when it comes to, to those suits, bro, I'm not really expecting those suits to be fire. I don't know why people were expecting those suits to be fire. 
You have to explain to me why people were expecting those. All right, it didn't make any sense. Like, of course those suits are going to be bad. I think all the, the suits that, that they uh, get in the pre-order are trash. I think the suits that they have in the game, that's what I'm interested in. But the pre-order suits, of course, are going to be bad. They're going to be garbage, bro. What are you talking about? They're going to be ass. Ass. Completely ass. Bro, I was so heated about the Raimi suit. I'm looking back at some of the older videos. I was, like, really upset. As I should have been. Good for me. Look up this Spider-Man PC video. Spider-Man 2's new gameplay feature remake. I haven't laptop in a minute. Oh shit, is it on yet? 17. Spider Man. Who's new? Oh, is this it? track Connors to the Harlem fish market. Lizard. I'm on it. Sounds like Craven's checking off his. We don't have much time. Move. Uh, guess we'll chat later. Iman, the creation. Come on. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, this honestly looks like the new game. Which, uh, kind of depressing. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why people are getting upset. That, uh, everything I said was legit. I'm like, if you can't tell the difference between, like, Spider-Man 1 and 2, then we have a problem. Peter? This is a serious I problem. I was wondering, uh... Wait, is this a bad time? This ends tonight. That's why I'm like, yo, I want to see some new uh, gameplay today. Both of the web wings are uh, better than this. Because, uh, a little more control. This edit is pretty crazy. That edit was pretty crazy. I'll give him that. The edit was pretty crazy. <sighs> Those suits, bro, are so fucking garbage. Is anybody complaining about the suits, or is everybody like, oh, I love it, man. I love the suits. The suits are awesome. The suits are awesome, man. I love them. Marvel Spider-Man PS5 gameplay features. We need a climb? Uh, I mean, I guess. I don't know what the climb would do, though. Because the climb is kind of irrelevant since you have a uh, point lock. Because that was the whole point of the climb in Web of Shadows, was to climb higher. But now you can just point launch. What gameplay features are in there? Think everyone is sucking off the suits. Damn shame. Right here. Spider Man 2. Okay. Art. Rock. I mean, everyone seems pretty happy. Man, they're lucky I'm not at home, bro. Because I would be fucking pissed. 
They lucky I don't have my equipment and my my setup. Because I'd be like, yo, why is everybody lying? Why is everybody lying talking about, oh, look at the suits? Them suits are a fucking ass. But I don't have a problem with the suits being ass. Wait, no, I do have a problem with the suits being ass. Because... Like, when, like, those are the DLC suits. I'm paying extra money. Everyone else is paying, like, what, $60 or $70? I'm paying $300 fucking dollars. Okay? $300 with a, for a discless game. Don't get me wrong. I like the statue. All right? Statue looks cool, but it ain't worth no $300 freaking dollars. Okay? Can we be honest here? Maybe if they All gave right, us some, uh, 12 brand new suits. some, uh, I don't know, some Somebody powers. Yesterday. Maybe if we got to unlock certain powers earlier or early in the game or something. I'm just saying, I don't know. They're, you're going to have to give me some, you're going to have to give me something for $300. That's all. <laughs> Bruh, you're going to have to give me a little bit more than some fucking six suits or whatever, or 10 suits or whatever it is for $300. If I showed my mom the Spider-Man 2 gameplay, she'd ask, don't you already have that game? Oh, don't. Don't do Spider-Man like that. That's cold-blooded. Don't do Spider-Man like that. Caffeine. As soon as I finish, like, oh, shit. it's kind of like in between. They're not. Bro, look at these suits. Look at these suits, fam. What? At least the Gotham suits look kind of dope. Gotham suits are dope. These suits, I just... What was the direction for these suits? Stone monkey suit? Red spectra suit? Agamat suit? Agamat suit? Tactical suit? God. Biomechanical suit? Oh, jeez. Not terrible but they're not like the best things ever and they're kind of like in between I th they're not terrible bro this dude's lying whose man is this whose man is this they're not terrible are we serious right now what you mean they're not terrible caboose was hella bricked up looking at them suits caboose i don't know what's going on with caboose bro that man must be on uppers or something <laughs> caboose is excited about fucking everything no disrespect to Caboose. I love Caboose. Uh, but that dude is, is just, he's just. What? 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 Just, bro, you can't be excited about fucking nothing. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm like, bro, those suits are fucking ugly. Oh, these suits are amazing. They're the best suits ever. I can't wait to pre-order. I just, oh my gosh. Okay, calm the fuck down, bro. I don't know how people do it, honestly. Because I see some of the streamers. You know those streamers who are just like, the Jacksepticeye, guy, bro. Remember him? Oh, top of the morning to you, whatever. I'm like, I wonder if he's still doing that shit. Because them mofos are depressed. I hope you all know that. People are constantly just high like that. Just, oh, oh, I love it. Oh, yes. Them motherfuckers are depressed, bro. They hella depressed. Hella depressed. Do not, do you not acting like that fucking every day, bro? Especially if you're streaming for hours? Nah, bro, it's not happening. Or you're putting out content? No, bro, stop it. It's not happening, bro. These mofos look like, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Ben Affleck. Y'all seen the picture of Ben Affleck? Where's the picture of Ben Affleck? Hold up, Ben Affleck means okay. That's what these <laughs> That's what these mofos look like, bro. They <laughs> That's what they look like. Dead ass. I'm dead ass. That's what they look like. As soon as the stream stops, they're like fuck. Fucking hate these kids, man. All they do is take. Just keep wanting me to play Roblox. I'm just. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
More Minecraft. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I gotta, I gotta pay rent. I gotta pay the movies. Brings in the monies. Okay. Oh, wow! Look at this, guys. We got the new update on Minecraft. Holy snaps. Can you believe it? <laughs> bro, I ain't doing all that, bro. I was like, yo, that's... That's fucking exhausting. How I am on stream is how I am in person. Because I don't know anybody who can do that shit fucking for years. Fuck no, bro. I can do that. Maybe, maybe people could. I'm just not one of them. I'm not as talented as those people. I just can't do that. I would go into a deep spiral of depression. Couldn't be me. Like, I don't give a fuck about insomniac nether realm or the rest of them i'm sorry if you don't want to give me a demo that's cool bro if the game is good i'll buy it like everyone else but these mofos be like hey can you please please give me a demo they be trying to they trying their hardest bro to like get the scoop and i get i, I mean i guess it's competitive they be trying hard to get the scoop like please please like uh what's his name uh, what's, ah, wow, I'm blanking. But I'm sure they've done sexual favors and shit like that, bro. I'm sure they're holding themselves out. Yo, how'd you get, how'd you get a, 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 a demo of a MK1 already? Uh, you know, I just, you know, I just got connects. Okay, you got connects like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got something on your shirt right there. Whipped cream. It's whipped cream. I was having a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, bruh. I really don't give a fuck like that. Uh, Fernando and Neil, unless it's a really like, like, I, like Sifu, I was down with Sifu. I was like, yo, let me, come on, bruh. Let me get this demo. Let me see what it do. Now, what would be cool is if you can customize a suit, just mix and match the items you find in game or purchase. But that won't make too much money. I don't get... I've heard other people say that. Do you really want to customize a suit? Like, who the fuck wants to customize a suit? I don't get that. Because I heard people, other people saying, if we could customize a spider, customize the logo, and, like, the webs and the eyes. Is that, like... I think that would be fun in a multiplayer game, right? Like, in an MMO, that would be cool. So everyone has their own Spider-Man. But like a single player game? Why? Who cares? Just wait until it comes out on PC and then you can do it yourself. Are you talking about Evan Falarka? No, I'm not talking about Evan Falarka. I don't have anything against Evan Falarka. I think Evan's cool. I think he likes Spider-Man just like I like Spider-Man. Um, I just I just don't get that concept. I don't know. It just I've heard multiple people talk about that. I just it just doesn't seem uh Interesting to me. But not terrible, but they're not like the best things ever, and they're kind of like in between. I think that they're great, you know, pre-order bonuses, and I think that they are really fun-looking suits. So let's there's no way you can say those are great pre-order bonuses. Let's take a oh, is it already starting yet? Got four minutes. Let's let's take a a a, a, a journey back into you know, what is it called? Memory lane. What was Spider-Man PS4 pre-order bonuses? Does anyone remember Spider-Man PS4 pre-order bonuses? Didn't we get like a DLC? And a bunch of suits? Or am I my bar? Yeah, this was the collector's edition. Marvel Spider-Man City Never Sleeps, three post-launch story chapters, new mission suits and characters, white spider sticker, Marvel Spider-Man statue, right? Which I have. We got all this and the mini art book and the steel book, including the PS4 game. Now, 
Are we really? And I forgot. Oh, and we had the suits, right? We had the Spidey pack. The Spider-Man PSN avatar, Spider-Man PS4 theme, five extra skill points, and then spider drone gadget. Now, if we compare this, okay, if we compare this to Spider-Man 2, it's night and day, bro. We get no, we get no, no, uh, 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 no, uh, no disc. So we just have a steel book. Just have a steel book. Uh, is there an art book? There's not even an art book, is there? Because I would think you would have an art book with fucking Venom. Right? Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. Spider-Man. Bonus. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I feel, I feel like uh, this is this is this standard. That my, I don't know. Spider-Punk Velocity Suit and Iron Spider. Yeah, those are the pre-order suits. Yeah. So we get... We get the 19-inch Collector's Edition statue. Okay. Now, one thing I did notice that they don't have... He doesn't have the webbing, the white, on the back of his... Back of his, uh... Back of his hand. I don't like that. But we get the game and a steelbook display case. A steelbook display case with no game in it. And then two, two early unlock suits. With 10 unique suits for Peter and Miles, five each, additional photo mode items, and two skill points. These mofos were stingy on the motherfucking skill points? Because did, did they give us five? How many skill points did they give us in, this, in, in Spider-Man 1? Oh, shit. Huh. They gave us five. <laughs> they gave us five skill points. Bro, this they're like, you niggas only get. Wait, wait, wait. On the first one, y'all gave us five skill points. Can you all at least give us can you give us three more? No. We treated you guys too nice on the first one. Since we realized most of you guys are fucking Spider-Man sluts, we're gonna treat you like a slut. Now come on now, be, be nice, please. I, I, I love Spider-Man, but come on, give, give us a little bit more. No, you're a stupid whore. You'll buy it no matter what. <laughs> That's true, but come on, treat us nicely. That's true, we will buy it no matter what. Shut up, you dirty whore. And you know what? We're going to charge you more. What? Yes. We're going to charge you more. Bruh. Because this was only 200, right? These mofos are giving us less and charging us more. And they know we're such Spider-Man whores that we'll still buy it. I don't like being a... Uh, I don't like them having that much leverage, bro. I don't like that. These niggas is giving us a steel book with nothing inside. That's... That's too much power, okay? <laughs> that's too much power. <laughs> them mofos got too much power. That's some boss-ass shit. To get... To have people buy a steel book display case with not a damn thing inside the case. That's too much power, bro. That's, that's, that's way too much, bro. That's way too much, bro. And then what the hell is this? Full digital PS5 game. So what the fuck? Is, what is this? So we not even, like, I don't even know what this is. Digital deluxe edition. Like, what is this? So what we're really getting what tangible thing we're getting is the 19-inch uh, statue and the steel book case. That's the only tangible things that we're getting. Bro, they, they really hoeing us, bro. They, they know that we're whores, bro. That's crazy. That's so... I, I just feel dirty, bro. I need to take a shower. And they know they're like, you don't even... They know that we're not going to say anything about it, bro. They know we're going to say stuff. Like, we'll bitch and complain, but we're still going to buy it. That's the worst part. They know we're gonna bitch and complain. I'm like, shut up. Shut up and give me your money. Here you go. That's right. Good little slut. Bro, that's the worst part, bro. Man, I'm hoping. Please, Lord, let the Xbox showcase be fire. Please.
please let the Xbox showcase be fire. Cause they are they are slutting us out, bro. I'm all about IPs. I but am so happy to only share two that new IPs today a year? by Saffron, nah, the bro. creative director of Kinkoff nah, Studio, uh, and the only two new IPs a year. Nah, bro. Launch right now. Congratulations on the early access. They they of treat Pico. us like straight How slut, bro. How are you bro. feeling, Saffron? Like, thank you. Well, this is this I is not it, bro. Terrific. PlayStation got to <laughs> stop. I'm sorry, I had to. Uh, but actually, you know, I two feel new like IPs excited, a year. And I'm so they know damn well they can do more. So much of ourselves into this game, so. I, Bro, I can't wait to share this? with everybody. I would Before love we move to on know to the next who's your announcement. I'm curious if you have anything you'd like to share with the Wholesome Games community. Um before we head they're giving us potato raisin yeah, salads I want to with thank no, no season so far especially wholesome games bro they're they not even giving us potato raisin salads they just giving us things like we've come <laughs> they giving us potatoes that's what they're doing and say there. imagine so yeah i'm just incredibly grateful to everyone who believed in us imagine the salad bitch felt the need what? to make tea for cats yeah here's potatoes imagine, imagine the salad uh, <laughs> we will be having lunch merch they doing us dirty dirty merch we will be because I'm like, yo, this, this is literally yeah, nothing. Right. This oh right here. Uh, so yeah, I will be available. The full for digital PS5 games? That, that's nothing. Twitter, that, Instagram, anywhere that's Twitter, Instagram, anywhere. It's a digital game. That means this is just for our show. <laughs> oh, that's super exciting. Well, so the only thing you're getting is really this launch and, and the double congratulations for three hundred fucking dollars. And thank you for joining us today. And they know we're gonna buy it. That's what makes it even worse. They know we're gonna buy it, bro. 230, bro. $230, bro. With tax, that's gonna be around 300 though, at least. 340, what? 340, 350? Round up. A steel bookcase. <laughs> a steel bookcase and a statue. That's it. That's wild. Steel bookcase and extraordinarily high quality 19 inch stack. That's wild, bro. That's so wild. What do you mean don't do it? Of course I'm gonna do it. Do you understand how how late you're gonna look if you don't get the statue? What are we talking about? Like this is the first, this is PS5 with Venom. How cute. For Spider-Man sure to 2. Check like, what? Of course I'm going to get the on Steam. Thing. And definitely don't forget to wishlist Button now, City's brand I'm new game, crazy Button City Soccer Days. I'm being disrespected, now, but I'm still going to get it. brand new games and demos already announced. Just be so grateful, Lucas. You're giving the statue at least. Why not spice it up by dropping yet another wholesome game for next, everyone next to time enjoy is not... today? <laughs> Bro, it's just going to be a piece of paper with Spider-Man on it. They're gonna charge. They're gonna charge four hundred dollars, and then one one DLC suit. Bro, it's, I think that's so crazy. That's crazy to me. To go from this to collector's edition to this, that's just crazy. That's Cooper for Cocoa Puffs. They're like, hey, we want to give you a lot of value for your buck. We're gonna have three three post-launch story chapters. New missions, new suits, new characters. We're gonna throw in a sticker, steel book with the game, art book. Okay, because I know you want to see the art book and a statue and some skins. Five extra. They were like, "Yo, we're gonna pack it in." These mofo's got a little too high for the britches. Give them a statue and a a sticker. No, give them a steel book. What about, uh, what about Welcome, the Welcome, Brandon, the lead Give dev and founder of Frog Team Games. Now, one Bro, you thing okay? that Give I was very curious about points? is if I'm why Frogs and what drew the inspiration for Frog Song. One time when I was younger, I was camping with my What do you mean, one time when you were younger? How old are you? Like, I saw all these 15? toads by the lake, and I just started This dude said one time when I was younger. Toads is these, like, what do you mean, yesterday? And the idea kind Think of it, like, a, a few hours ago? What are you talking about? Just like a younger Brandon creating this One world time while when I was feels very, very wholesome. Did you have anything Lord. you'd like to share with the Wholesome Games community in particular? 
the Wholesome Games community has been a huge part of Frog Song's journey, so it's an honor to be launched. If it was 500, you would have still bought and it. It is definitely an honor. I'm not to denying have you. that. Um, thank you again. Listen, and a big I'm not congratulations denying that. On your launch. And that's I've already it acknowledged for the I'm a Spider Man for Thank you so I've much for hanging that. out with us. And now I'm just also acknowledging that they're direct. treating me like a whore. There's a difference, okay? There's a big difference. I'm gonna I'm put some game on y'all right now. No whore wants to be treated like a whore, even if she is one. Think about it, bro. I know I'm a Spider Man whore, but I don't want to be treated like a Spider Man whore. Think about it. Little game right there, bro. Little game. Welcome back to Wholesome Direct, a celebration of you wholesome games. Like one of those my name is Jenny Wyndham, and I am joined by my wonderful co-hosts, no, Kennedy I, Rose I and Gab Smulders. Sit back and relax as we bring you exclusive footage and announcements from nearly those 80 people are wholesome crazy. games. And remember, if you see any games you love today, head over to wholesomegames.com to get all the info and find out how you can support the developers. What is this? Insomnia, I went from we all a part of the family to hug and a Bible real quick. <laughs> hug and a Bible real quick. Bruh. The, 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 the disrespect is too much. Too much. Oh my god. These games are giving me, giving me headaches, bro. What is this? I think indie games are important, right? I'm just curious, what what inspires someone to create a game like this? That's what I want to know. I want to know who is your target audience. That's what really fascinates me. Like, who are you marketing this to? Because it's not to me, right? I'm not I'm not gonna buy this. Is it like to kids, like little kids? Like, that's why I want to know, Paco, like, who's your audience? the new intern at Bubblegum Galaxy. She'll now show us how to build planets. Sorry, I meant to say restore the galaxy? What? Build a planet by placing tiles. Does anyone know Finish who, missions who, who to earn buys and additional tiles. Place kids? Tiles wisely like, to little kids? Quests and win stars. I don't know, man. I feel like little kids are like playing Mortal Kombat. Each planet will have its also, own I do not like rules. that uh, that uh, Mortal Kombat. It seems as you gather stars and Mortal Kombat. As a I like that it seems you easy get to, to, to get in, but it seems hard to master. I will, I will say that. What is happening? Which is awesome. This doesn't sound so good. Help Hako rebuild Young and kids save our new female gamer. Check out okay. the demo available now on Steam. Hi, Peru everyone. All we're Spell Garden yeah. Games, and we're making sticky business a Peru was a consultant business simulator on game. You we all create your stickers, pack orders, and hear about your customer stories. You can play the demo right Peru now on Steam. A consultant We'd love to on see your creations games, you and hear about your that? thoughts and ideas over on our Twitter or TikTok. And now like, it's how time can we to make build these the games cutest sticker shop so on the internet. And so gay. We need a consultant. Experience the joy of Where's running Haru? your own cozy small business. Haru will help us. We need to make them more boring. More! Create stickers, pack orders, and hear your customers' stories. Ruby like baby girl, let's play this. <laughs> Time to build the cutest shop on the internet. Bruh. Goodness gracious. Doesn't point. I would love to just sit down with like the audience bro, and just talk. Hey, why are you guys buying this game? Moonstone Island is a creature collecting life sim set in an open world with a hundred plus islands to explore. Make friends, brew potions, collect spirits, and test your strength in card based encounters to oh complete God, your bro. alchemy training. 
this is uh, very intense, I will say. Station to Station is a minimalist railroad building simulator that artfully railroad combines a relaxing experience with eye-pleasing voxel art visuals. Okay. Populate a beautiful, ever-brightening landscape and connect the world by building train tracks. All aboard! Uh, Lucas, you mad about Eddie not being Venom? Um, Hi, I'm Mala. I am an artist and we are making an adventure not management really. game, The Palace on the I Hill. mean, it would have been nice we if Eddie was We love playing cozy Venom. adventure games with a unique story and setting. And so we are making just that. But, uh, the game is inspired I don't know who's by gonna our be own life I know and people are saying in Harry, India, but that's... And it is coming out very soon. It's not gonna be Enjoy Harry, Enjoy the bro. trailer and please add to your wish list. It's not gonna be Harry, bro. That would be too obvious. And based off of, based off of what he said in the... Bro, I don't... What do we got, bro? This is... Let's, uh... Let's mute this and see some Spider-Man, bro. Some Spider-Man and a Mortal Kombat. Let's go ahead and break it down. We're gonna go from worst to best. And honestly, it's, it's semi-hard to put the worst up here. But I personally They're think the worst bad. one has to be the Stone Monkey one. Like, I don't know how many people are going to, like, try to be mad at any of the ones I call bad in this list. Because they're all pretty mediocre. I think the my They're all bad. Not mediocre. They're all bad. Those ones are a lot better than the Peter ones. Um, but that Spire Monkey one, it's almost like Batman. Also, I'm curious. Did anyone read that? They're a lot better than the Peter ones. Um, but that Spire... Did anyone know that was a parry? I'm going to do a video on that because... I did not know that that was a parry, bro. I had no idea that was a parry. Did anyone know that was a parry in the actual game? That did not read as a parry. That was a parry. Did anyone you knew that does not Never look like a parry. First off, it doesn't look like a parry. Secondly, there's no audio that's that differentiates itself from the other sound effects. I don't know how that I don't know how did you read that as a parry? I thought he got hit. That's not like I like what? He's gonna wish he never came. Yeah, I thought he got hit. I didn't know that was a parry. But okay. Uh, where, what is Ryan in the heart? Ryan. In the heart. Because didn't he uh, speak on... He spoke... Uh, what was it? Yesterday. This man. This man Kaboosh. Boost is awesome, bro. <laughs> Boost is awesome. Uh, presentation. Presentation. You thought it was a block? I thought it was. I thought he got hit. Where was uh, Itnohar? Didn't he? He spoke. Presentation. Oh, is this it? People have it? No. Where is? I just want to see the presentation. Because he says they want to do something new. And if they want to do something new, it's not going to be Harry. And it's not going to be, uh... not going to be who people think it is. Oh, here it is. I know you guys are deep in development. Doing with these sort of two characters. Uh, we saw some great gameplay at the PlayStation Showcase. But I want to talk about the two villains i think in the game that were, there may be more there are more but, uh, there are more out there I two promise. main ones but uh we have some new art to show of uh we obviously craven we got the reveal at the, uh, yep. the playstation event so tell us a bit about uh, him and how he factors so into craven's it. very different from any character we've done he's not you know he's not powered by magic or you know tech he's just the best hunter in the world and he's coming to new york for his greatest hunt and yeah. what's better than all of the marvel characters that live in new york city it's a good reaction to the art uh, and the gameplay. Uh, oh, there you go. Good reaction. The Venom design looks exactly when Scorpion became Venom in the comics. 
Oh, Matt Gargan? I think the spider's a little bit different. No, even, uh, even, uh, uh, what's his name? Had, a uh, had, a uh, 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 he had, I, he, I want the patch on the back of his hand, bro. You wonder what that spider looks like? The spider actually looks like Web of Shadow Spider, if we're going to be honest. If we're going to be honest, it, it, did anyone notice that? Web of Shadows Venom. It looks like the spider symbol from Web of Shadows. There we go. That, that, that looks like a... Uh, very similar, I will say. Very similar. Very similar, to say the least. There we go. Not that I have a problem with it. I'm just saying it just looks uh looks similar. I don't have an issue with it. To the art, uh, I'm, I'm glad you're happy. I'm I don't know how much you're going to you tell us about that. Pointed to your head and had to choose between Joe Biden or Ron DeSantis to vote for. Who would you? Choose? Joe Biden. I had a gun to my head and someone asked, hey, Ron DeSantis or Joe Biden, I would choose Joe, Joe Biden. In a heartbeat. Because he'd probably die by the, you know, by the time he finishes the rest of his uh, term. Fred, do you all see that? Uh, <laughs> there's, this one, there's this one video where Biden is like, <laughs> it's, it's not funny, but it is. The dude just is like, <laughs> Bro, I couldn't stop laughing. I felt so bad, but I couldn't stop laughing. He just looks lost. The dude looks, he looks gone. Like, gone. Like, bye. No one's home. <laughs> Where is it? It was crazy. I was like, yo, what is going on here? Because somebody's clearly saying something. They're making a comment or a, a video or laughing or something. And he's just like, he's, it doesn't look like he's there. I'm just saying, if you like, if you like Biden, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying in the, the video that circulated, it did, does not look like he's there. It looks like he's in my A. It looks like he's AFK, bro. That's what it, <laughs> what it looks like. I'm trying to find it on my phone. Cause I was like, there's no way this, cause I thought it, I thought it was AI, right? At first I was like, somebody, he's not, he's, this is just a still image. They're trolling. And then I look closer. I was like, oh, that man, that's not a still, uh, he really just, okay. All right. Where was it? It was, uh, very interesting. Very interesting to say the least. And then he fell again. Poor guy. He just keeps on falling. I just don't. I just. DeSantis needs to step out and let Trump have it, bro. He gonna ruin it for everybody. I don't. Oh, this is it. This is it, bro. This is the one that got me. I was like, what? Hold up. I know I don't mix, you know, politics with gaming. But hold on. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta see this. I would do the same thing if it was Trump. Y'all gotta see this. This shit. Where is it? Okay, let me see if I can find it on Twitter. Uh, crazy. Jones? Uh, where is it? I want to see. Where is it? It was so cr I was like, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Uh, where's the video? Dog, oh, they post a lot. Oh, this this was it. This is it, bro. This is it right here. This is the one that got. I was like, no, ain't no way. Everybody posting, <laughs> <laughs> and this is if it does not work. This is a great opportunity to show you how our students have to troubleshoot things. So Bruh. everybody posting. <laughs> I felt so bad. I was laughing, but also sad at the same time. 
I was laughing, but also sad at the same time. I was so, look at, I was like. Everybody calls <laughs> <laughs> And this is, if it does that not work, gone. this is a great opportunity to show you how our students have to troubleshoot things. So everybody gone, calls <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> And this is, if it does not work, this is a great opportunity to show you how our students so have to troubleshoot things. Bro, so, it's so sad, bro. It's so sad. He's in the wrong universe. The man is glitching, bruh. He's glitching. <laughs> Where's Spider-Man 2099 when you need him? The man is glitching. <laughs> oh my God, so we'll get him. We got the wrong Biden, bro. Our Biden's in a different universe. <laughs> Bro, at first I saw this, started laughing, and then I felt bad. And then I watched it again, and then started laughing. I was just like, yo, this can't be real. Because I was like, that's not real, is he? Everybody calls <laughs> And this on, is, if bro. it does not work, this is a great opportunity He's to show on. you how our students have to trouble. Bye bye. So, everybody calls <laughs> Nobody's and home. This bro. is, if it does not work, this is a great opportunity Nobody's to home, show bro. you how our students have to troubleshoot things. Oh my so, god. Everybody... It's so sad, bro. I don't think it's funny, honestly. I don't think it's funny, bro. I think it's really sad. I think it's horrible. It's not funny, bro. It's not funny at all. I don't think it I don't think it's funny, bro. I don't I, I don't think it's funny, bro. I think it was sad. But nevertheless, nevertheless let's go back to Spider Man. Yeah, I don't think it's funny, bro. Who who asked the oh yeah, somebody asked a question, but I had a gun to my head. I don't know. Hopefully he was on drugs. That's the only thing I was hoping. That's the only thing I was thinking. I was like, maybe this man is like taking a crazy ass trip right now. Like maybe he's taking a crazy trip. That's the only thing I could hope for. That's the only thing I could hope for. That he was like, like he like, I don't know. He got some rocks or something from Snowfall. <laughs> and he shot up. He's just like. Why they keep calling me president? <laughs> uh, because you are, sir. President. President of what? Of the United States of America. Oh. Bro, it was crazy. Anyways. Is this, uh, it, can you tell, is this is an Osborne Venom? Can you tell, what's the origin of uh, Eddie Brock Venom? Or? It is not Eddie Brock. Okay. It is not, it is not Eddie Brock. Okay. Um, our goal was to tell an original story, something yes. you haven't seen in the comics or the movies yet. Obviously, wow. we love Venom for a reason. Okay, so something you haven't seen in the comics or the movies yet. Here's the thing. We've seen that in the comics before. So it has to be someone new. Because unless, I don't know, unless he's just talking out of his ass, bro. Unless he's just talking out of his ass. Because we've seen Eddie be Venom in the comics. We've seen Matt Gargan be Venom in the comics. We've seen Flash be Venom in the comics. Uh, the only people we haven't seen be Venom in the comics, like actual Venom, is Peter. Right? We've seen uh, uh, Craven be Venom. In, well, actually, Craven wasn't Venom in the comics. Craven imitated Spider Man, but he wasn't Venom. So that's the only thing I'm thinking of. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. What would be great is that what happened when game game de game designers and game developers like lied to us. I loved it when they lied to us, like, hey, no, we're not going to have this. And then we come to find out, and we do have it. I would love for them to do something like that. You know, Eddie is not going to be – we love Eddie, but he's not going to be Venom in this one. We wanted to give it a fresh tale. And then we come to find out that Eddie's actually Venom. That would be, uh, that would be cool. So I don't, I don't know who Venom is. Uh, hasn't Harry been Venom in the comics? Right? In Ultimate Spider-Man, if I'm not mistaken? Right? Because he said comics and the movies. Well, there's only been one movie where Venom said Spider-Man 3. But Harry has been Venom before. So I don't like... 
I don't know who they could show. I don't know who it could be except except Craven. That's the only one I'm thinking of. And that would be more of a a, a take on a spectacular Spider Man where Craven, you know, goes to get a, a serum to, to to make him stronger than Spider Man. That's also I don't that's the only thing that I can think of. That's the only thing I can think of. Would be Craven. Or Norman. Maybe Norman does it. But I don't think they would I don't think they would completely let go of Norman. Like the Green Goblin? I guess they can make Harry the Green Goblin. I don't know, man. I don't know. Cause they really haven't done anything crazy. <laughs> Have they done... Here's the thing. Here's what I don't understand. Did they really go out of their way to make a crazy different story in Spider-Man 1? Did they? Doc Ock became... You know, Dr. Octopus became Doc Ock. Scorpion, Scorpion, every... Like, they didn't really switch up the story like that. So that's why I'm like, of all the times not to switch up the story... For all the times to switch up the story, now you're going to switch up the story with Venom? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Because I'm thinking they didn't do a... They didn't really switch it up in Spider-Man 1. So for them to switch it up in uh, this one, I'm like, okay, I guess, okay. <laughs> all right. They killed Aunt May. But yeah, I mean, killing Aunt May is not really switching up the story. Because Aunt May has died before in the comics. Tapira Kai says, no, Eddie Brock was Venom in the Ultimate Spider-Man comic and the cartoon Harry was Venom. Okay, in the cartoon Harry was Venom. Gotcha. It was just the origins of the, the symbiote, right? One was from a lab versus not from a lab. That was the only difference. Okay. So, I don't know, man. Yeah. All those things you love about the character are going to be there, but how the story plays out who is Venom? You have to play the game to see how it goes. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's there's a bit of a tease. Now, obviously the the, the symbiote is a big part of the gameplay and, and one of the things He seems fucking exhausted, bro. <laughs> Brian, Brian always seems exhausted, man. Like I was watching Ed Boon. If you watch it, maybe we'll watch that afterwards. I was watching Ed Boon's uh uh talk about Mortal Kombat, and he's just so excited and enthused. He's like, yeah, we wanted to do something new, but also, you know, pay homage to the old characters. This man always seems like, yeah, so, um, no, uh, Eddie Brock is not going to be Venom. Yeah, a little tease there. <laughs> I was like, bro, what, what they got you doing, my guy? Are they milking you or something? Like, what's going on? <laughs> what, the, what are they doing over there? Biden just trying to be the next hit me. Understandable, understandable. My daughter is going to see Spider-Man in her new Spider-Man Jordans. In her new Spider-Man Jordans? What's Spider-Man Jordan? What's Spider-Man? Did they release Spider-Man Jordans that I'm unaware of? Does she mean the J's from the from the first one? Abstract Media says, I think they've taken us out like Rock City did with Red Hood. Also, they put the Eddie Easter egg in the first game and put Eddie Brock's name in a lot of promo blogs for the Miles Morales game. Uh, I mean, that would be nice. I would not mind that at all. Would not mind that at all. Yes, and I try to tell you, they are ones. Oh, Jordan ones? Oh, is that what you're talking about? I thought they released like some new, new Jays or something. Aren't those hard to come by? Or am I tripping? There was one Jordan that was that was like super hard to come by, Jordan. Oh, 
hundred and what? Out of your damn mind. Two hundred. Do they have some on eBay? Shoes are not comfortable. These shoes are not comfortable at all. Jordans aren't comfortable. I don't care what anybody says. They're not comfortable. Oh, 140? What? I'm not a Jordan person, sorry. Growing up, everybody had to have the new Jordan. Those are size seven. Yeah, I'm good. Well, tell her to have fun, even though the movie's been out for a fucking weekend. What a horrible mother. Worst mom ever. Take your child to see Spider-Man a fucking week late. I'm going to take my child to see Spider-Man on day one, bro. MP takes her child to see Spider-Man a week late when the movie's already been out. Mm-mm-mm. I would tell my child to tell your child that, that you don't love her. Oh, your mommy don't love you? Why do you say that? The movie been out for a week. My daddy took me on day one to see it. Your mommy don't love you, then. It's been out for at least a week. He taking you to see it now? Wow. Have you been naughty? You been naughty? I've been good. I've been good, so that's why I saw it on day one. Goodness fucking gracious. Lord. How about you put your life on pause and do what matters, okay? Taking care of your child. That's practically child abuse. Are kids in school right now? Because I would think... I would think all the kids would be talking about Spider-Man. Oh, you see the part where that happened? And now your child is just all alone in the back. Just, hey, did you see Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man? Not yet. I'm seeing it this week. Oh, okay. Hey, anyway, did you guys see? That is child abuse, bro. Child abuse. Couldn't be my child, bro. I'm just saying, couldn't be my child. My child be going into school with the new Spidey drip and everything. Like, hold up, little Lucas. Let me put you. There you go. Let him know. Let him see a little bit. Let me see. You know, the spider chain. Just like. Don't show it to all the ladies. Just, just the ones that you like. Just, you know, just, just open it up a little bit. Just like. Is that a Spider-Man chain? Yeah, my daddy got it for me. Like, yeah. Just saying. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's summer break? Okay, good. I don't know. I don't know fucking kid schedules because I'm not a pedophile. So <laughs> that was a that was a little trick. That was a little test to see if we got any weirdos in the fucking chat. Little tests. I'm glad nobody passed it. I'm glad nobody passed it. You know, because if you start asking people, hey, is you, are the kid are kids in school right now? And a mofo with no children say, no, it's a spring break right now. How the fuck do you know? That's that's when you you know you don't hang out with those people, bro. Has anyone had that happen? Mofo know a little bit too much about school, but have no fucking kids. Okay, little Lucas, don't hang out with that mofo. That nigga's weird. Okay, he may try to touch your bunk hole. All right, don't hang out with him at all. Yeah, I'm glad no one answered. I'm glad no one answered. Fucking Trayvon. Although Trayvon's practically a kid himself. Trayvon got held back in school. Yo, MP, does your child go to school with Trayvon? <laughs> MP's child fucking tutors Trayvon, bro. No, Trayvon. Four plus four is eight. Mommy, can we go, please? What do you mean it's eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, Trayvon. Eight. Is that why you didn't take your daughter to see Spider-Man? She was tutoring Trayvon? Is that what it was? Until, until Trayvon gets an A on his test, your daughter can't see Spider-Man? That's cold-blooded. 
Now it makes sense, MP. Now it makes sense. <laughs> now it makes sense. Before I was like, damn, MP's a, a horrible mother. Horrible mother. Now it makes sense. MP is MP is each one teach one. Let's go, MP. Strong black woman there. Let's go, MP. Each one teach one. Good job, MP. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, bruh. Or they can be like Mogul with a kid and know nothing about kids. <laughs> oh, so MP, now we believe Mogul has a child now? Yeah, he has a child now? Okay. All right. Do you think he, do you think he went on do you think he went on Uber Eats? <laughs> do you think he borrowed one for the stream? Do you think he borrowed one for the stream? Hello, yeah. Y'all got any kids? I just need one for the day. Yeah. <laughs> this man, this man fucking Uber Eats a fucking adopted child, bro. Bro, where I'm at right now, I've been getting crazy Amber Alerts. I got like at least three Amber Alerts by uh, since I've been here. Bro. <laughs> I know one place me and little Lucas will not be coming. Uh, that's for damn sure. I'm like, they really taking kids like that? They were like, I got one. It was like at fucking two in the morning. It was like, ah, ah. a little six year old. I was like, wait, how? They it, it didn't say six year old, right? They described the child. It was like uh, a child three feet tall or something <laughs> wearing a, a, a beanie, blah, 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 with a with a diaper. I was like. Wait, a baby? <laughs> Motherfuckers is taking babies. They taking children. They taking babies. God dang. They left the diaper at the end because I thought I was like, oh, you know, because usually the Amber Alerts are like, you know, an old person or some shit. Grandpa or grandma, you know, you know, wanted to go on a, you know, I don't know, a little journey and start driving. Where's grandpa? I don't know. Bro, I, I read the last line. I said, yeah. Probably seen in a diaper. Last seen in a diaper. I was like, seen in a diaper? The fuck? <laughs> Yo, bro, they snatching kids up in here. It's fucking crazy. Snatching kids, man. The way he got beat so badly on MK by Castle the other night, it's apparent an invisible new newborn was playing for him. Damn. Damn. Who, uh, freaking, what's his name? Uh, Mogul plays MK? Yeah, Mogul better leave me and Castle alone, bruh. I put them hands on Castle, bruh. I'm gonna have to see Castle in that new MK1, bruh. I'm gonna have to see Castle in that, that Street Fighter. Let me, let me get, get a few combos down with, with Cammy. And then I'll see him in Street Fighter, bruh. Fundraiser says, you hear about 30 kids missing Ohio? Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. I believe it. I believe it. I absolutely believe it. Where did you hear about 30 kids missing Ohio? That's wild. Because they definitely snatching up kids, man. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was like, I was about to turn this, I was about to turn it off, to be honest with you. I was like, yo, can we stop freaking messaging me about all the small kids missing? Like, I don't care anymore. He tries to play and got whooped every time so badly. Ooh. I think we were all struck Sad with the footage hear. that you showed at the PlayStation Showcase was, uh, you know, how that is going to really impact the Where gameplay when you're Ray playing as, done? you know, Peter. So tell us a bit about that and how, you know, the gameplay is going to be dramatic. Yeah, we don't. The gameplay is not going to be anything dramatic. We haven't seen anything. Now that MK1, clean boy. We got to sign in to see. It's not even that bad, bro. Clean boy. Boy, super got to oh, play some MK. We're really trying to move. It looks clean. I'm not going to. It does look clean. A character that you'll pick. And then I know you also. Did you 
hear about the guy who stabbed nine kids at a park in France? Yeah, I heard about that. How did he stab nine kids? I don't understand. <laughs> How did you stab? Were they like talking too loud? What was the deal? Why would you stab nine kids? What was what was going on? What were they doing? Listen, anytime I hear someone talk about, you know, they stab nine kids, I give them the benefit of the doubt. I want to hear what the nine kids were doing, bro. Nowadays, I want to hear what the nine kids were doing. <laughs> Back in the day, I'd be like, oh, what an evil monster, a horrible person. Nowadays, I'm like, what were the kids doing, bro? What were those nine kids doing? I'm also not a fan of the x-rays. Looks too cartoony. Yeah. They, they toned down the, the blood a lot. The blood and the gore, they toned it down a lot. Round one, fight! Bro, of course I'm be ready for Tekken, bro. Of course I'm be ready for Tekken. <laughs> Like, it seems like the same thing as, uh, as this game in 2011. That katana wins is kind of janky. I'm not that's, that's janky as fuck. Hopefully they fix that. Hopefully they fix, that's like, that's, I'm hoping that's a placeholder. That's janky as hell. Not come between me and my sister. Round two, fight. I mean, it looks good. It just looks, I don't know, it looks like a MK11 just with uh, some, uh, some injustice, uh, Injustice behind it, and um, you know, some new uh, new new graphics. I won't say graphics, special effects. So wait, do they get a barrier? I still he still hasn't gone through like he really hasn't gone broken down the the mechanics. Like, cause see, he has a barrier. Oh wait, no, I'm tripping. So he punched the cameo, and then you take damage. But you don't even take that much damage, bro. That's like, that's honestly like chip damage. Because I know people were excited that, oh, you can punch the cameo person and you take damage. But I'm like, look at that damage, bro. It's like, that's no damage at all. You heard about the three off-duty Marines beating up kids? Beaten up by kids? No, I did not hear about that. Off-duty Marines got beat up by kids? Did these kids have guns? Did you sign up for the closed beta for Tekken 8? Yep. I did indeed. I did indeed. They need to bring back the darker tone from uh, MKX. Yeah, they went very light with it. They lightened. Here's what they did from what, I've, from what I've seen and what I've heard. And the gameplay has been released. Um, it's lightened. It's not as gory. Not as graphic. Oh, he does have blood on I'm thinking you can maybe tone it down? Maybe there's a setting where you can tone off, turn off the gore. Because when I saw him play, he didn't have blood on his clothes. But even still, the brutalities and the fatalities, they don't look as graphic. Even the crushing blows, it's like, mm, they they remove like the muscle and the veins and all that. They removed all that. I think there's a setting where you can t you can take off the the what do you call it the the gore. Finish him. Like that's not that bad. That's not really bad. Kitano. We've seen we've seen way worse. Like MK11's brutality is way worse than that. Way worse. Mofos keep making it more accessible and watered down each installment. I think this is going to be ex more accessible, but it's going to be also harder probably to learn. 
with the, the combos and stuff like that. Because this seems to be very combo friendly. Like the gravity is like practically you're on the moon. My ancestors say they've tangled with yours. Has it I don't get how people are so, so uh, what do you call it? They're so uh, impressed by this. They're like, oh, there's no loading screen. It's like, this is the loading screen. <laughs> there, this is the same technique, you know, that most game developers do. I mean, they use it during God of War, right? They're loading the game right now. Did it occur to you to ask them why? That's what was happening. I guess maybe they don't like seeing it load. Maybe that's what it is, but that was the loading screen. It's very light, bro. Very different tone than, uh, than, than previous Mortal Kombat's. Very different tone. Round one. Fight. I think they need a they need a nerf Sub Zero, bro. I'm just saying it. I said it on my Twitter. I was like, yo, based off of what I've seen, they need a nerf Sub Zero, bro. They need to nerf him already, bro. They they need to nerf him already, bro. Hidden loading screens are good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I don't know why people are acting like, oh my god, the transitioning. Like, that's I don't know. It's not really a big deal to me. Instead of a loading screen, you just get to see an idle animation. <laughs> I mean, I guess. But it's just, I, it's more of a cosmetic change than like a hardware change. Now, what the hell was that? That looked like an armored getup. How the hell are you and give somebody an armor get up? An armor get up slide? Because that's what it looked like. He armors, right? Armor get up slide. How the hell are you and give somebody an armor get up slide? I think, yeah. I think, uh, I don't think this is anything crazy. I just think the timing is going to be the most important. The timing is going to be the most important as far as when, like, because I've seen the timing of Kano, I've seen it of Jackson, all varies, even with Sonya. So you're going to have to have the timing really spot on in order to extend the combo. <laughs> this, this shit right here, bro, this fatal blow bullshit. I'm so glad they did it this way. You guys don't understand. You guys don't understand how many games I've lost with somebody just doing a raw fatal blow. Just raw fatal blow. I'm so glad they have this animation. And then even after the animation, there's startup frames for it to start. Right? The startup frames. I'm just like, oh. Mad Lad says they probably did did tone it down to avoid the animators getting PSD. No, seriously, that actually happened. Yeah, I know, but it's like, okay, then stop animating on it. Stop being a little bitch. Like, God, dog, man. Because I know they were getting PTSD. Like, bitch, come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. You really getting PTSD? Like, oh. Wait, they, he has armor still? Wait, does he have armor in the Fatal Blow? Because it looked like he hit him. Oh my god, they gave him armor. Jesus. They gave him armor, bro. Why? How many frames of armor does he have? They gave him armor, bro. Yeah, Jax has his arm, because this is a redo. So he never got his arms. This shit looks like ass. That looks like straight ass, bro. Like, complete ass. Compared to MK11's uh, uh, Fatal Blow and Crushing Blows, this looks like ass. <laughs> straight ass, bro. 
That looks like a cartoon. I don't know what this is. Straight cartoon. Uh, th this is... This is probably some of the worst x-rays I've seen. The worst x-rays I've seen. Maybe your assist gives you different properties on the super. Like one of you, one you get super armor, the other is quicker. I doubt it. Expect the unexpected. I haven't heard anything talk about Fight. that. <laughs> Now, one thing I do like is that in order for you to break, you need three bars. So you know how people would be able to break away in the middle of a combo and still have bar active? This, you need three bars, bruh. Three bars to break away. So I'm like, okay. Do you understand how bad that's going to hurt? That's what I'm saying. They, they really, they really, uh, uh, Made it combo friendly, bro. Made it extremely combo friendly. Because you're not going to refill those three bars after you use it. Now this is interesting. So with Kenshi, from what I heard, is if you hold block, you control his ghost. You hold block, you control his ghost. I saw, what was it, Sonic Fox? put out some combos with Kenshi, and it was like a 50% combo. No, no, no. 50% combo was with, uh, I think it was with Katana. Katana had a 50% combo. I was like, damn, already? bar for that? Does that slide? I'm sorry. That slide should of course use bar. I'm just saying. Yeah, he didn't use any bar for that. You're telling me he can slide halfway across the screen and extend it for no bar. That's him. But then, like this, this brutality, fatality. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So trash, they do. I'm sure they'll probably have something a little more flashier in the final. <laughs> Kenshi's gonna be hard to master, I feel. Fight! <laughs> 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 Raw fatal blow. And he gets armor. 
Look at that. You have armor. That's such bullshit. Look at that. Just armored right through. Look at that. Armor. <laughs> Now, at first, I thought these were special, and they were going to have separate uh, com combos for each character. It's the same combo, bro. Jax, Jax does the same animation for each character. No matter who has him, he'll always jump and then back. Break. I thought they were going to have separate combos for each, uh, each person. I was like, damn, that's a lot of work. But no, it's one animation for everyone. And then Katana will always do this. Sister Shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. And then Sonya looks like ass. Sonya looks like straight hot garbage ass. <laughs> Round one, fight! <laughs> Okay, I start to see that cooldown. The cooldown is pretty lenient. That cooldown for Sonya, that's pretty lenient, bro. How did he use Kano again? Right, wait, can you use him? Wait, so you can use him like three times. So as long as there's bar right there, you can use him. So it doesn't have to be fully a full circle. Sonia looks sexy? No. Because <clears throat> he used him again. Okay, so as long as, it, what, like half a bar? <laughs> It's time. Where? This is it, I don't see anything. Aren't they showing it here? Yeah, I'm guessing the story trailer is quite a Make sure to like the stream. Don't be a po. And like the stream. Hey everyone, 
I'm Laura Bailey, though you may know me best as the voice of Abby in The Last of Us Part Two, Mary Jane Watson in Marvel's Spider-Man, or maybe even the host of the June 2021 Future Game Show. And now I am back, and this time on a super cool stage, to host this year's Future Game Show Summer Showcase presented by Intel. But as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility, and thankfully, I've got Yuri here to share it with me. I'm so glad we got that out of the way soon. Yes. Okay, thanks, Laura. It's great to be here. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, and I'm the voice of Sasuke on Naruto, Yosuke in Persona 4, and of course, Peter Parker in Marvel's Spider-Man. But tonight, I'm swapping out the Spidey Yuri, suit for something so a little more suave. Think less thwips, more quips. Actually, just like Spider-Man. Exactly. Yuri and I have been on plenty of adventures, like when we explored the Midnight Channel with a talking teddy bear. Or when we brought down Mr. Negative. Right? We have the best job! I know! But let me tell you, nothing prepares you for a stacked <laughs> showcase full of video games. Lord, you're telling me. Now, I've had a sneaky little look at what's to come. We've got demo drops, developer presentations, gameplay so trailers, crazy. montages, and of course... That's his world premiere. Yes. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Wish list at the ready, folks. And remember, if something catches your eye during the show, head to gamesradar.com to read more about it. I think we've covered all the bases. So let's kick things off with something really special. Please welcome Tamara Jokic and Gilad Baraka, who are here to deliver a very special performance of Waves from Beyond, from the soundtrack to High Water. Yay. What a way to kick off the show. Oh. Goodness gracious. Donde vamos? But, but. Ah, donde llegamos? Si, si no hay rumbo ni marea. Oh boy. Does this game look like it deserves a soundtrack? Am I crazy? Actually, no, she doesn't. Never mind. It, it goes hand in hand. Because if you mute her, then it's like you're a middle aged woman. At least we can say she can sing. Let's, let's turn that up. There we go. That helps her. I think it helps her. The singing definitely helps her. Okay. 
They did all that single for this garbage ass game. That's crazy. Well, that was beautiful. Thanks again to Tamara and Gilad. High Water was, was previously available on Netflix, but today we are pleased to reveal that it's coming to PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Nintendo Switch in the summer. Make sure to wishlist it on Steam. All right, before we get to our first world premiere, we've got a quick update. During this year's Spring Showcase, we announced that the world of future game show is expanding with the launch of the new FGS YouTube and TikTok channels. And after we wrap up today, you'll be able to go deeper into selected games from the show with exciting videos from the growing FGS editorial team. Search for FGS on YouTube or TikTok and look out for the channel logo you can see behind us. All right, let's keep this engine running. I think it's time for our very first world premiere. Fury is wild, bro. So, why are we really doing this? I thought you hated racing. I need to get into the city again. Who is going to walk away with this year's city pass? Tune in and find out. It's going to be one hell of a ride. How's everyone enjoying the show? He can't be allowed to keep doing this. But how can we stop him? By playing him at his own game. Aster, what would you like to say to all your fans? Start with my book, Game of the Year. Man being in space is going to be a game changer. It's Welcome to the game. world of Resistor, a post-apocalyptic car mind, PG where you build a ragtag team of racers. It's coming soon to it PC, like PlayStation, right? Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, so get it on your wish lists. What's next, Yuri? Well, here we go from the post-apocalyptic to the prehistoric. It's dinosaur time. My favorite part of the day. Let's see it. Why she call him Jerry? Does he play Jerry in a game? Are they serious? Bro, are we serious right now? This isn't me, right? This isn't me, right? This is the street. Straight. We're I don't so know. I think I'd kind of enjoy being stuck in an intergalactic traffic that, jam that if we these have, were that good. Right? Trucks and I mean, space. I get the whole truck sim thing now. It looks strange. Why relaxing. wouldn't those trucks? That was your first glimpse at by Star AIs. Trucker, which is coming in 2024. That make but now sense? it's time to shift gears to <laughs> demon gods and dark fantasy. We've got a developer presentation from Hexworks, the minds behind Lords of the Fallen. On behalf of Hexworks, welcome to the Lords of the Fallen uh, Gameplay Hexworks. Showcase. Today, we're taking a closer look at our all-new dark fantasy action RPG, arriving this October on PC, PS5, 
an Xbox Series X and S. Spiritual successor to the original 2014 release, it acts as a full reboot for the franchise, taking place in a vast, interconnected world over a thousand years later. Featuring colossal boss battles, fast, challenging combat, and deep, immersive storytelling, players will journey across two parallel realms in this expansive RPG experience. The world of the living, Axiom, and the world of the dead, Umbro, with each featuring its own unique pathways, characters, enemies, and, of course, treasures. And while Axiom presents its own challenges, untold horrors await in its nightmarish counterpart. Thanks to the Umbral Lamp, players can enter this lightless world at any time in one of two ways. When slain by the foes of Axiom, at which point you'll resurrect in the same location, albeit in Umbral. Or by performing the Umbral Rift and willingly sacrificing one of your two lives. But the lamp holds yet more power, granting the ability to flay the soul from an enemy for some high damage attacks, and even manipulate the very environment of the umbral world. However, the longer you spend in this wraith-ridden plane, the greater number of spectral terrors that will hunt you down. But as harrowing as the Hellions of Umbral are, they pale in comparison to the game's brutal boss battles. Towering above the ever-burning city of Kalrath, this gargantuan monstrosity doesn't take kindly to would-be adventurers, the demonic presence within ready to devour any and all within sight. A merciless torturer prepared to carry out any atrocity in the name of his faith. Tancred, master of castigations, is the devout chaplain of the hallowed sentinels. Though beneath the pious veil, his very own flesh conceals a truth most foul. When Harrower Dervla ventured into the deepest depths of this world to thwart the undead rising, what she discovered was so utterly horrific that she renounced her former life and commitment to a far darker oath. Pre-order Lords of the Fallen now and prepare to unleash the darkness on Friday the 13th of October. Sold on that? I'm, I'm so tired of Dark Souls games. I just. Lords of the Fallen is coming to PC, PlayStation, Maybe and Sparrow. Xbox on October 13th, 2023. And you can wishlist it right now. Wait, what, what is it, Yuri? Are you okay? My spidey sense is tingling. Oh, no, wait, it's something good. It's time for another world premiere. Geez, game 17. Fucking Yuri, bro. Did he really just do that? Did he really just do that right now? Dun, 
Dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. Stop it. It was so infectious. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is going to be in Stop my head for a right while, now. I think. Yeah. Well, you know, I really can't complain. <laughs> Watch out for Headbangers Rhythm Royale, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2023. So, what's next, Laura? Oh, well, this game debuted as a world premiere in last year's Summer Showcase. Stella and Blade. now we've got a closer look at gameplay. This is The Last Faith, which some fans are describing Where as a Stella pixelated Blade? take on Bloodborne. A hunter's dream, you might say. Touche. A new dawn is at hand. The secret has been snatched in the hands of the sordid. But one rises above all others. A blessed curse. The sweetness of the flame. Only the inevitable can befall them now. That was The Last Faith, a gothic Souls-like coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in October 2023. And you can wishlist it right now on Steam. We're also thrilled to announce that The Last Faith will have a beta demo this summer. If you want to check it out, register for access at thelastfaithgame.com. Our next game is a stealth action platformer set in the wake of a climate catastrophe. Let's take a trip to the world of Steel Sea. Hello everybody, I'm Carlo Bianchi and I'm the founder and game director of Stormy Natica. Let me introduce you Zoe and Kobe, the dynamic duo that will accompany you during your journey. Today we are excited to show you the gameplay reveal of Steel Seed. Steel Seed is a stealth action game with a deep, complex and lore-driven story. After a major climate catastrophe caused by humans, the AIs took control of the situation in order to find a way to preserve life. Zoe is looking for her father in an underground facility built by machines and extremely hostile toward the novels. The environment surrounding Zoe is huge and takes heavy inspiration from popular mangas, movies, and anime. Okay. Zoe needs Kobe Show to help with exploration, so environment this interaction, stealth, and combat. Game. Their bond will grow stronger the more challenges they will face together. Give me a reason to buy the game. Facing enemies without using Kobe is extremely dangerous. The planning phase using your companion is essential. Sometimes, a stealth approach in problematic scenarios is preferable, and a good execution will be highly rewarding. The environment will offer you many ways to deal with the enemies. Be the silent assassin. Should you feel more aggressive, or if you screw up the stealth approach, a fast pace and tactical combat system will allow you to unleash your combat abilities on the enemies. Don't forget the cob is there to help you with ranged attacks and skills. Your companion really makes the difference between life and death. If you still feel underpowered, a complex skill tree system based on challenges will allow you to expand Zoe and Kobe's passive and active abilities. The challenge system is designed to render the experience more dynamic and fun. Also, in dangerous times, you may require dangerous friends. Use Kobe to hack into an enemy system to make it fight with you. Your new ally will create hilariously engaging combat scenarios. There are many more abilities that you can unlock from the skill tree. Choose wisely. 
Thanks for your time with us. Still Seed is a truly emotional experience that will test your inner humanity. The game is coming to PC, Microsoft Xbox and Sony PlayStation. Stay tuned. Honestly, Steel Seed Spider-Man is coming is soon to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. This is be a whole Man, I gotta say, showcase. voice acting is so much easier when you're not wearing a skin-tight suit. Am I right? Wait a second, are you, are you telling me you wear the Spidey suit when you record? Me? No? <laughs> we need to talk after this. But right now, we've got a double feature Stop focusing mentioning on Spider-Man Blue unless you're gonna show Go Spider-Man. Fight fantastic. Let's get Stop into it. Stop mentioning Spider-Man! They're gonna show Spider-Man. I'm just, come on now. They're gonna show Spider-Man. They wouldn't constantly be mentioning Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Oh my God, another Haru game. What is they doing? What is they doing? Who is playing these games? I'm sorry, I'm losing. I'm losing. Who is playing these games? Can someone tell me? Honestly. I have never in my life met somebody who's played a game like this. Never in my life. I've been on this planet. I've been to many gaming conferences. I've never planet, in my huh? life met someone who plays games like these. Never in my life have met people who play games like this. <laughs> Nothing's ever routine with this crew. But one thing's for sure. We'll deal with whatever comes our way. Together. Yeah, maybe in a little bit. Maybe he's right, though. Maybe he's right. Because the room would definitely give us a chance. Oh no, man, you gotta get into it, bro. It's a really good game. The room would be saying it's a really good game and then ask him, hey, when's the last time you played the game? Oh, it's a Distant Bloom and Go Fight Fantastic are coming later this year. So head on over to Lucky Steam us. and flesh out your quickly growing wish lists. Lucky and us. here's a bonus. Limited time demos for both games have also been made available on Steam. So oh, head nice. on over to the Future Game Show Steam page if you Drago want to check secretly them out. Plays these. Laura, on guard. Wait, wait, what? What's happening? Oh, sorry, I was reading too far ahead. Bro, they stopped showing. World premiere time they again. They stopped showing them. They're not even showing them anymore. They're like, you know what, you guys are uh, kind of cringe on the screen. This is the last time she runs we my We see class. why you guys are voice actors. Find her and bring her to me. A challenge? I like that. <laughs> really? Oh, you're the full of the old How is she doing that? Let's finish this. I believe you. I believe you. Catch this. <laughs> Show me what you're doing! What? Get to the Maybe next time! Can you like stop this nonsense now? Come on, amigo! Try to fight me at least! This is an ambush! Hold on guard! On guard. Alright, I'll definitely get the demo. It seems fun. Am I the only one who's never heard of her? Uh, that was En Garde, a swashbuckling action adventure which is coming in the summer of 2023. Wishlist it now on Steam. Hey, Yuri. Yes? When you think of the three pillars of video games, what do you see? Hmm. Okay, well, for me, it's got to be obviously big rigs, big bucks, and snow trucks. Okay, that was not what I was expecting, but boy, do I have the trailer for you. I'm ready. I really would like to go 
Road truckers. Alaskan Truck Simulator is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox who, in Q3 2023. So drop it on your wish list. I'm not knocking now. it, I just like to Now, our these. next game follows a scribe who's been sentenced to 30 years of writer's block. Hey, we've all been there, am I right? Let's take a look at The Bookwalker. Can they revamp the Uncharted series? That's really what I want. Revamp the Uncharted series, please. Cause that was freaking, that was peak game. Peak gameplay, bro. Peak game. Who are these clan? Clan members, except for two hoods? Bro, how are you brushing off? Work of work as a trucker to play a game that fulfills your fantasy of moving to the state of Alaska. Yes, yeah, said, said no one ever. Bookwalker? Play demo now? Why not show us a freaking clip of the demo? Wouldn't that make sense? That reminds me, I really should return those library books I borrowed. You really should. Those guys are coming after you. <laughs> the Bookwalker Thief of Tales is coming to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation on June 22nd. And you can play a free demo for the game on Steam after the show. Okay, here's a new trailer for Deceit 2, a macabre social subterfuge game built from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5. This may look promising. Deceit 2. Never mind. I've been watching you. Nobody wants to drive two trucks in Alaska in real life. Who the hell paid to do it in a video game? Bro, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'd like to speak to these people who buy these games. <laughs> Deceit like 2 is coming to PC, PlayStation, play and Deceit Xbox 1? in 2023, and you can also play the beta now. And if you like, Who yeah, you give it a wish one? list. But of course, lying is only one down. part of our life, for some of us anyways, maybe more. Our next game features the rest of it. It's time to check in with Paradox Tectonic, the developers of Life by You. The other one, the book walker. Hi, Future Game Show. This is King Choi, Studio Director of Marketing at Paradox Tectonic with Let By You. First off, I want to share a heartfelt thank you to the gaming community, especially the life simulation players, for your overwhelming response when we first announced the game back in March of this year. And if you're just learning about us for the very first time, welcome! Life By You is designed to be one of the most modable and open world life simulation games. Launching on PC as an early access title this September, Life by You is opening up a whole new world of creative possibilities. Be in total control of the humans that you create, the towns that you build, and the stories that you tell, driven by real language conversations. And most importantly, live out the lives and stories that you create in a world without says, loading screens. And oh yes, mods. We here at Paradox Tonic are continuing <laughs> to build off the DNA of great games that Paradox Interactive is known for, especially when it comes to community-focused features and experiences. The creator tools, as well as editors that you'll be able to play with in our game, will allow you to get your hands on the same tools that our game team 
is using to actually make the game in order to make your own UGC add mods. Just for future game show 2023, here's an exclusive look at one of the jobs that your characters will be able to take on in Life by You. Here's my human, Harley, heading to her job as the barista at the Cozy Up Cafe. Harley will need to complete a set of tasks as part of her workday, including cleaning up displays that customers will inspect and take samples from. Head over to the YouTube channel at Life by You to learn more about the game and make sure you subscribe to be the first to know when we do our weekly video drops, including feature deep dives and also dev streams that we'll be posting in the coming weeks and months. Pre-order the game on Epic and wishlist it on Steam. When you pre-order, you'll be able to receive the exclusive Life Begins pack and the first 100,000 early access players will be invited to a private Discord server where you'll be able to share direct feedback to our game team to inform the roadmap and the development of the game towards full oh, launch. Lucky us. We're so excited for you to get we your get hands to, on this game. And thank you so game? much for having us, Future Game Show 2020. And then give you advice on it? Wow. Lucky us, Life man. by You is coming to Steam Early Access on September 12th, 2023. Oh, so make sure to wish list it today. Okay, time okay. to switch things up for a sec. Right, the up. VR showcase first appeared in our spring showcase earlier this year, and now it's back by popular demand. So let's swing over this there and see it. what's new in Wait, the world. No, oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Whip -a whip. So let's see oh what's new in the world of you virtual can't reality. Spider Man freaking. Whoa, this buttons. is all new. What are we doing? Any Liberty ideas here? Uh, I see a highlighted path, so I guess like any good video game protagonist, oh, we should follow it blindly. <laughs> Sounds smart to me. Uh, ah, like, here's our first game. A reimagining of a Dreamcast cult classic that lets you play Squash in space. Let's so check in with C Smash VRS. Peggy 3. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we're going back to sleep, bro. I feel you. Are they trolling? Or are they trolling right now? Be mindful of low-hanging light fixtures because C Smash VRS is coming to PSVR 2 later You're this month us. on June 23rd, 2023. Oh if you haven't got it on your wish list already, oh my Lord, would you? Us. And if you're not convinced by that trailer, you can check out a free demo for the game on the PlayStation Store. Next up, we have something for those of you looking for a different way to get your heart pumping. Take a look at this trailer for Madison VR. Madison VR, a game that I would never play in a movie.
Yikes, even Polaroids are scary now. That was Madison VR, which is coming in 2023. Forget the elbow and knee pads. This next game lets you shred without the fear of falling. Let's see what's new with VR Skater. stickers. VR Skater is kick flipping its way onto Pico stickers. and PSVR 2 headsets in 2023. Man. Now it's time to head over here so and throw it over to First Contact Entertainment who can give us the lowdown on Firewall cool Ultra, a tactical a VR shooter game. coming exclusively to PSVR 2. Lord in heaven, bro. First Hi, I'm Frank from First Contact Entertainment, and it is our pleasure to be here at the Future Game Show today. Looking kind of rough there, Frank. <laughs> We've had our heads down for a while now working on Firewall Ultra, the next evolution of the Firewall franchise, which is coming exclusively to PlayStation Firewall VR 2. In Firewall Ultra, you'll be playing as an elite contractor tasked with either downloading or Has defending sensitive Firewall information. Before? You'll be able to hop in with a squad of up to three other players and show off your skills across varied locations Since in both our PvP and PvP like what do you mean The team has been working hard to create a truly deep and immersive experience that is a treat for all the senses. We've taken full advantage of the hardware, utilizing eye tracking, oh, tactics on both the controllers and headsets, fingers. trigger resistance, and the power of the PlayStation 5 to create something that truly feels like a generation. Those were big more. back in the day. Doing little skateboard tricks with your, your fingers. We can't wait for you to enter the world of Firewall Ultra, coming exclusively to PlayStation VR 2 later this year. Now, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the show. Firewall Ultra is set right. to launch on PSVR 2 later this year. Last but certainly not least, we've got an exclusive world premiere of a new VR experience featuring a famous animated duo. Hold Their on to your Wednesday day. You out on purpose. I would hope that it would be more entertaining. The grand getaway. It's oh, a right place. Oh, I'm doing a VR, okay. Looks cracking, Yuri. Wallace and Gromit in the grand getaway is coming to MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest Pro in 2023. This brings us to the end of the VR showcase. We ran out of highlighted path anyway, so I guess we should fast travel. Does anyone see any subway signs around Bro, I'm about to fall Anyone? Asleep. Hello? Okay, we're back. And I think I've hit my liminal space quota for today. Don't forget to check gamesradar.com and the FGS social channels for more info on all of the games from today's future game show, Summer Showcase, I know this is powered by Intel. Okay, time for some more trailers, Yuri? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I was about to say. Let's pick back up with an exciting world premiere. I was, <laughs> bro. I was about to say. I, I know they're crazy. I know they lost their mind. I was like, they did all this Spider-Man, Spider-Man oh, trolling to show us no Spider-Man. What do you think? This is Deconia. Oh my so, God. 
The nightmare's finally over. If I were you, I'd really reconsider that statement. Thanks, this I is Panda from the Delic Entertainment, and you just watched the reveal trailer of our upcoming story-driven survival game, Surviving Deponia. It has been seven years since we last visited our lovely trash planet, and Elysium, the floating city, has crashed down onto its surface and turned it into a Mad Maxian nightmare. Master the environment, build your own base, and meet new as well as old friends in Early Access 2023. You literally showed us nothing. No gameplay. That was Surviving Deponia, a survival twist on the cult classic point and click series. It's coming soon, so head on over to Steam and drop it on your wish list to stay up to date. Damn, I am parched. Not as parched as the citizens of our next game, who live in a post apocalyptic society where water has become new gold. Where have I heard that before? By yourself, oh, okay. all you've got around you is desert. Choose to band together with others, and you've got life. Water. Civilization. Bro, if they don't say, if they don't show survive, <laughs> I'm rage quitting this stream. I'm just letting you know. Outside. I'm gonna be rage quitting the most this stream. difficult choice is always right around the corner. So I feel like. I'm not gonna get Spider-Man, that's what I feel like. Homeseek is coming to PC on July 20th, 2023, so be sure to stick it on your wish list. Okay, I don't wanna alarm anyone, but I can see that we've got yet another world premiere coming up next. Outrageous, how is this possible? How many are we up to now? Someone tell me in the chat while we roll the trailer, actually. Reminds me of that one game. The roller skater one? Roller blade? to define a new genre here at the Future Game Show. That was Laika, Aged Through Blood, the very first Motorvania. That's what I'm calling it, and I'm, I'm sticking to it. No notes. <laughs> Laika, Aged Through Blood is coming to PC, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox in 2023. Next, let's hand it over to Pentapeak Studios to dig into the mechanics of their upcoming strategy game, Space Gears. Space Gears. 100 years in the future. Mars is at war. This sounds promising. Space Gears is a new strategy game. So in the fight and conquer Mars. What? Commander, your mechs are online and ready for battle. The ground crew is adding the Join final the factions to prepare for what? your arrival. This is your camp and home base. Collect resources and terraform Mars to build an army of mechs. Space Gears is for strategy and mobile fans everywhere. Strategy and unit controls will be key to claiming victory. Bruh, I want to jump out of this window. Space Gears will be available to test play this June. Welcome back, Commander. We need welcome back. Is this a sequel? 
play for free. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. Space Gears is coming soon to PC, but you can terraform your opinion on it <laughs> by playing it for free Louis, after the show. Nice. In, How about something Terra? Anyone in Sony Buying off because they, they really uh -huh. pissed me off. Bluebird team has sent over the brand new launch trailer for the studio's first person Bruh. horror game, Layers of Fear. Peggy 16. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they're doing this to get back at me, bro. I don't know what I did, but I feel like this this just seems personal. Talent. Prestige. Recognition. Bruh. You took away what was rightfully mine. But what was stolen can be reclaimed. It's been years, and yet, oh, bro. it all still feels unreal. Biggie Kitten says, yo, Lucas, I don't know what I'm more the excited memories. for, Spider-Man 2 trailer or Discovery and Halo is my cousin. If you know, what? The nightmares. Take that family tree. Jalo's your cousin? They've never left this place. They saw you talking trash about the collector's edition and said bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've waited too long. Hit the like button if it's you love Spider-Man. Facts. Yeah, hit the like button, bro. What y'all doing? Hit the like button. We end this together. We're suffering together. Might as well. long trailer for me to not be impressed. No. Not again. What do you mean again? Layers of fear. 30% off. Okay, that's fine. I'll take 30% off. And I've wet my pants. That was Layers of Fear, which is coming to PC, Mac, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series consoles on June 15th. Up next, we've got a unique take on the co-op cartoon shooter from a talented two-person studio. Let's dive into the world of Enchanted. Yo, this is wild, bro. This is freaking wild. Peggy 12. This is wild. They're not gonna show Spider-Man. I feel like it. I feel, oh man, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. They're gonna have the, the two voice actors of Spider Man. They quip it all throughout the show. Thwip, 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 thur, thur. And then, it, and then they're not gonna show it. Watch them do something like that. They wouldn't do that, bro. They wouldn't do that. Oh, this looks like fun. Who's gonna make this stream like 10 minutes once they show Spider-Man? All I know is this better be some good gameplay or I'm gonna be bad. These showcases are smart because they know if they show Spider-Man early, viewers will tune out early and the stream will be dead. That is true. Anyone that is else true. Just get deja vu? Explore a variety of animated styles when Enchanted Portals comes to PC and consoles later this year.
Okay, we've got a dark fantasy deck building RPG up next, full of procedural dungeons and branching narrative choices. Let's check in with Shattered Heaven. Maybe I'm just hungry, because that's what it is. This land is nothing but an endless hell. But this ends now. Destiny. If I were to ever do some voice acting, I would have to see what game I'm voice acting for. I'm like, nah, I'm sorry. Your game looks like shit. I'm Shattered not Heaven my is voice out now through. on PC. What's, What's up next, Yuri? Uh, okay. Well, if I'm reading this correctly, Yo, then wow. we're introducing the Fart Squad. Oh, yeah. You mean the furniture arrangement and relocation technicians. Great house movers to have on speed. They dial. really hoeing us, bro. They're like, yeah, we know what you, we know what you came here for. Pac-Boy. We there know what you came here for, stuff. we gonna make you wait. And those who carry stuff away. When your stuff needs moving, it's time to call. Smooth Moves. out two? What do you mean two? As in a sequel? Bruh, do they mean as a sequel? There was a there was a one? Who's buying these games, bro? Who's playing these games? Laura, would you mind like giving me the number for the fart squad after we wrap? <laughs> Of course. Who is playing these games? Moving out two is coming soon. Next up, we've got our ones to watch segment. And this point, they'll show us a Spider-Man mobile card game before anything to give us a movie. Wait, is that it? Wait, is that it? Yo, is that it? Got us like Norman Osborn. That was our one to watch montage. If anything caught your eye, you can find out more on these games and everything else in the show by heading to our dedicated Steam page, which you can find by searching for Future Bro, Game Show on out. Steam. The montage! But now it's time to take a look at Warhaven. Nexon's free-to-play 16 versus 16. They're gonna hoe us out. I know it. They're gonna hoe us out, bro. They don't have any PS5 or any. They're not gonna have any big name games, bro. They gonna hoe us out. They gonna hoe us out, bro. I can feel it. I can feel it, bro. My spider sense is tingling. like four
What? Oh, what? Warhaven. Play for free. Okay. Warhaven is coming in what fall 2023. Must be, illegal, bro. be sure to wishlist it on Steam as you'll be able to play Warhaven during Steam Next Fest later this month. Steam, 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 Steam. I feel like we've said that word a lot lately. Yeah, it's like we're living in a Steam world at this point and we're just, we're Steam bots, you know? Mining and exploring, building houses for the Steam folk. I am a Steam, wait, what? I want to die. Oh my God. Facts, Drago. You know how much I sacrifice. Steam World Build is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2023. Make sure it's on your Steam World wish lists if you like what you saw. Now, Eerie, you've heard of nightmares, right? But what about a daymare? Hey, what is this? A Sounds daymare? even worse somehow. Taking him says, Lucas, I'm seeing but across the Spider Verse next game, week. Which It'll is be a my third person screen. survival horror that's but those, nostalgic what for the 90s. But this time on Shrooms, those visuals will be fire. You must be important if he brought you here instead of just All right. killing you. What is this? Some on knowledge is best kept hidden from the rest of the world. Grace, you should stay out of this. You, you think you understand, but you're blind like everyone else. You can't be too late. Grace, you need to get out of here right now. Ah! They all seem to become Damien. obsessed it's with It's really called Damien. He can't have betrayed us. That data can't be allowed to leave here. The living and the dead have contributed with their lives, or the whole world will burn. I'm going to finish this forever. Hey, man. Okay, August 30th. Rest now. <laughs> Stay frosty, because Daymare is coming to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC on August 30th, 2023. Okay. So prime those wishlisting fingers, folks. We need more gameplay, but okay. We're going to throw it over to Core and Gage, the team behind New Cycle, a diesel punk city builder that takes place after a devastating solar flare. We're not giving Spider-Man, bro. I'm calling it. It's not it. Starfield Collector's Edition price leaks ahead of Xbox uh, Game Showcase. What's the price? Three hundred and twenty-two dollars. Wait, will be priced? What? <laughs> that was New Cycle, which is coming to PC in Q2 twenty. Yo, I know they not charge three hundred twenty-two dollars for it. We've got another world premiere now, and it also features trade. But Bruh. Not in the way you think. Three hundred and twenty-two dollars for the collector's edition of Starfield. Once upon a time, there yeah, was a happy mind. place called Riverside. You're and out of right there, mind. there was a bear called the Ruffy. That's why. No one could tell why, but Ruffy had this amazing ability that to swap things. Yeah, really, he just swapped them. And it was easy for Oh him. man, tomorrow's Love gonna it. be so much fun. Throw it! It's gonna be so much fun, y'all. There you go! Ruffy could swap just about anything. What is this? But his game? job had him swap paintings for town sweeping. Copy and paste, swap it, you name it. Life was perfect. Until one day, a long forgotten evil emerged out of the darkness. Devastation came all over Riverside, and the end was near. Huh. 
Now, it was up to Ruffy to accept his destiny and walk the bad for good. But I'm glad there are kids. See that swap party? Are you swappy enough to save the world? Swap a doodle too! Might get wrong, but you are ruffier. And you will never swap alone. <laughs> Ruffy and the river side. Swapping to PC and Nintendo Switch this winter. Yeah, correct, this winter. The, oh, whenever that ain't looking change. good, Chief. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get Spider Man. Hey, every brand needs a mascot, and I think they, they just found ours. Ruffy in the Riverside is barreling its way onto PC and Nintendo Switch this winter. Works. So get it on your wish list now. Our next section is a slight change of pace. This year, we'll start to get our hands on the first games developed in Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> we'll the but we wanted to show you a glimpse of what games in 2024, 25, and beyond might look like. Thanks. Expect startling tech demos and cutting edge vistas as we give you a glimpse of the future of games. Oh Wait, what God. at the future games show? Outrageous. Precisely. Oh boy, I'm getting ready. They hold us, bro. They got, they got freaking Peter Parker and Mary Jane hosting the future game show. That would be crazy if they didn't show the spider. Like, do you understand how crazy that would be? That would be insane for them not to show the spider. These trailers can't, cannot be stopped. It's self-sustaining now. And that was the inaugural Unreal Engine 5 showcase and a warning to graphics cards everywhere. I can hear mine squealing and bursting into flames from here. Be sure to head over to the FGS social channels if you want to see more Unreal 5 demos as and when they drop. And while you do that, I am pleased to report Bruh. the sighting of a friendly neighborhood world premiere. Oh, oh. let's see it then. Let's go. Now we're talking. Now, now we're talking. Y'all fucking hoes. Y'all some straight up fucking hoes. Y'all, fuck you, Yuri. Fuck you, Mary Jane. Y'all some fucking hoes, bro. Y'all some fucking hoes, bro. Y'all some straight fucking hoes, bro. Fuck you. That's not even funny, bro. Are we done yet? Are we finished or are we done? Bruh, 
this shit's not even funny, bro. This shit's not even funny. Bro, are we finished or are we done, bro? Are we finished? Are we finished or are we done? Thanks to Ritual Studios for that face melting first look at Fretless, The Wrath of Rifson, which is coming to PC in 2024. If they don't Another show double damn feature Spider Man. Next, focusing on Hammer Watch 2 and Paleo Pines. Oh my god. Laura, bro. I am pleased to report that it is once again dinosaur time. Yes. If they don't show us some Spider Man after this stream and all the freaking. freaking uh, 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 blue balling and cock teasing they've been doing. They really showing us this bro. They really showing us this bro. Bro, I'm rage quitting this stream if they don't show us Spider-Man. Cause this is some bullshit, honestly. This is some serious bullshit if they show if they don't show us Spider-Man, bro. They really said our friendly neighborhood, that's that's not funny, man. They did that just for you, Lucas? Yo, that's... 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 If they don't show Spider-Man, they should be illegal. They should be arrested. They're, they're, they need to be arrested, honestly. Paleo Pines is coming on September 26th. <laughs> and Hammer Watch 2 is coming soon. Stick them on your exactly. wish lists and watch out for the demos for both games. Bro, which will be available on Steam from June 18th. Speaking of demos, our Once to Play montage is back after its debut in the Spring Showcase earlier this year. Show us some Spider-Man, y'all. As we're going to show off a bunch of incredible games that you can try right after the show. Show us some Spider-Man, y'all, please. Stop playing. Oh. Yeah, I'm not ready to die out here. Bro. Are they serious right now? Are they serious right now? Why would you expect Spider-Man when they did Spider-Man yesterday? To get a story trailer, what do you mean? They've been talking about whipping all this shit the entire stream. It's Spider-Man and Mary Jane. I would think that they would show something. We gonna see Smash Up. We gonna see Luke and Smash Up the hotel. No, no, we're not gonna do that. They've been teasing Spider Man this entire stream, have they not? Have they? Maybe I'm crazy. You know what? Maybe I'm crazy. You know what? Maybe I'm tripping. And that's fine. Thank you to all of the amazing developers who submitted their demos for our Ones to Play montage. And remember, you can check them all out by heading to our dedicated Future Game Show Steam page. We're taking a quick break from the trailers now to deliver an exciting update. In last year's Summer Showcase, we were proud to Maybe I'm crazy, bro. Maybe I'm crazy. Being created that's, that's by possible. Ukrainian developers under Maybe I'm crazy. conditions. Slava Ukraine. Maybe I'm crazy, bro. Maybe this year, we're thrilled to confirm the release date for one of those games right now. Puzzles for Clef is a cozy puzzle platformer set in a stunning world full of magic and mystery. Maybe I'm and it's crazy. Maybe that's Nintendo what it is. Switch and PC via Steam on July 27th. Go check it out. You can also head to our FGS social channels for more updates on the games from Ukraine that we featured during last year's show. Bro, ain't nobody okay. care about no Time for another trailer. We've got a first look at gameplay from station to station. A wholesome simulator where you connect voxel railways to build thriving cities. I don't think they're showing Spider-Man, bro. He said amazing. Exactly, they... I don't think they're showing Spider-Man. I think they're just fucking with us. I, I think they're just fucking with us. I think. They're just being evil, bro. I think... I think... They really, they really, they really hold us, bro. They really hold us, bro. Okay. I mean, it's 
fine. It's fine. It's cool. Ah, it's cool. not a super villain in sight. I think I could do with some tranquil train time, actually. Station to Station is coming to the in Not a super villain in sight. What? The demo is available right now. So go check it out after the show. Lucas has your Next up, at we're you. taking a step into the world 100%. of fantasy with 100%. Ember Storm Entertainment's atmospheric base builder. Saint Ivan says, Rekha. after that friendly neighborhood joke, I'm thinking about whether he should even be <laughs> whether he should even be Spider Man for the third game. Spider Man would never do proper <laughs> would do proper dirty like that. Where's Josh keep that? Yeah, where's Josh Keats, bro? If they don't show Spider-Man, we need Josh Keats. Or Christopher Daniel Barnes. I'll take Christopher Daniel Barnes. But... There hasn't been a super villain at all. Bro, he is hoeing us. He's hoeing us. Larry says, he said amazing. He said, man, he said with. What do you mean? You can't tell me he's not going. You can't tell me. You can't tell me they don't know what the, they don't know what they're doing, bro. You can't tell me, bro. You can't tell me. Yeah, this looks cool, bro. Yeah, it's all. Don't, don't forget to pack your boots your as Rekka, delightful chicken cottage included, is coming to PC in 2024. Okay, our friends at Sega have got a new trailer to share regarding oh. Company of Heroes 3. Oh Let's God, check bro. it out. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. Company of Heroes, thank you. That's awesome. Company of Heroes 3 is coming to PlayStation and Xbox on May 30th. This is Chase of Goose. I, I hate journey, Chase of Goose. I've got a feeling this next game is going to be a good one. How many games are there, bro? Wait a second. Is that you? That's me. In a role play musical? Wait, 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 wait. And we're about to be introduced to the main romanceable characters? Oh my god. Bring me my popcorn. Somebody get me some popcorn, please. Ah, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? I have been known most often as Pan. I know where you belong, Grace. The song, Grace. I can show you the way. Do you believe me? You still I'm are. I'm so glad I don't have to go. You even stand him? Still not a fan? Honestly, he's exactly what I'd expect him to be. What about Apollo? Apollo was god of the sun and light, but our sun god had a reputation. That hidden voice, it'll always play. On a loop, it'll always say, what did I do? What, what side are you on? This, bro? I said I would just make things worse. And I was right. Do you trust they don't show Spider-Man. Sure. I may so launch a harassment campaign. Last words. I'm thinking about it. Tell me what you know about Persephone. I'm thinking about it. I'm this honestly, close, bro. I'm honestly this close. Like her stories. Are you here to challenge me? You Where instead the of the amazing army, we get the symbiote yeah, army, bro. Instead of the Raimi army, we get the symbiote army, bro. Because you're so big. The symbiote army. I'm 
glad you appreciate my finer qualities. Say Ivan says if they you. just Way better. chose Why a voice actor from the game to host really all about. the hosts, I could almost let them slide with no Spider-Man. After all, all this teasing, kind of they get no pass if we don't see Spider-Man. The deal, right? Best bro, we about to have this we about to have the symbiote army, bro. Where we we're all toxic. Nothing but the toxic. Just toxic all over Twitter and YouTube and everywhere. And to celebrate, Sin Laura says Luke is going to call a Fury and cuss him out if they don't show No, I haven't. Are you sure? Yes, I am. The sure. bully <laughs> army, bro. Not happening. Anyway, I'm so pleased to be able to reveal that as well as PC, Stray Gods is coming to Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch on August 3rd, 2023. Hey, if you're in it and Rahul Kohli is in it, I'm playing it. And now that we've got that out of our system, it's time for me to introduce a new section to the show. One that I'm calling... The international debut. It's another world premiere, isn't it? Yeah, oh, hey, fine, but you don't have to spoil it. Oh my God, bro. If they don't stop playing, why are they playing? Why, why are they playing? Can someone tell me why they're playing? Why are they playing right now? What is this? That was your first look at Reveal. Oh, I love horror games. But our <laughs> next game is all about driving to survive in an anomaly-filled exclusion zone. Here's Ironwood Studios with a developer presentation about what to expect in Pacific Drive. Initially, it was very much a personal thing. You know, I grew up driving station wagons around the Pacific Northwest. I would go camping, I'd go out to the beach, I'd go on road trips with friends, and as an adult, I decided to start doing that again. So I, I, you know, I got an old station wagon and I started going out on these trips. But, you know, I would go to abandoned industrial sites. I would go, you know, taking the car up these tiny little dirt trails. And there was this you know, vibe, this feeling of being out there in the woods with this old car. A very surreal experience. And that became, Bruh, I think, the initial seed happening? idea for the game. Pacific Drive is a run-based driving survival game. But when we started, we what were very much just happening? prototyping. We were getting the player into the car having them drive around in the woods and getting a feel of the space out there. What we quickly figured out is there's a lot of overlap between resource management and kind of plate juggling that you want in a good survival game and taking care of a car, like uh, you know, making sure that you don't run out of gas and checking on your battery. It all eventually came to fruition with the garage and us figuring out we wanted a safe space for the player to be the mechanic and to work on their car. And taking these excursions out into the zone where you're grabbing resources and exploring and then coming back and being able to do it again. In most survival games, there's a focus on the player and keeping them alive, but for Pacific Drive, we wanted to trim that on its head a bit and put the emphasis on the car. It's the thing that's going to keep you safe when you're out in the zone, but that's only true so long as you maintain it. The player can still take damage, but the car itself is, is a good deal more complicated. There's different slots that you can put different equipment into and customize your car, but things may happen to those parts. They may take wear and tear, they may get damaged and break or fall off. In which case you may have to craft replacement parts or scavenge for new things out in the zone. We really care about satisfying that fantasy. I'm in fire man? Wait, like for real? Just taking care of this car and maintaining it while they're on the road. It's Wait, important for, for real, us to for do real? this because that, that interaction helps build the player's Hold relationship up. with the car. And that's something that we care a lot about for the game. So the zone is a pretty isolated. Are you guys fucking trolling? Are you guys trolling? When you're out on the road, your car is your only real travel companion. And we wanted to make sure the players had the ability to 
build a personal Make connection a rip. that is you know, so I put it in the Fuck you guys. I like this. You guys are all hoes. All y'all getting timed out, bro. And we wanted to make all sure the players getting timed the ability out, to build a personal connection with the All y'all getting timed out. We've also doubled down on Mine's the time everyone out, bro. As well. So every time, time everyone out the car, in the chat. To turn the key. You have to get the engine to start. You have to put it in park manually. Uh, we built the whole game with these systems in mind because we want to create uh, effectively a time sandbox out for the these chat, different bro. dynamic moments to occur. Sometimes when I'm driving the car, I find I have to swerve suddenly just to get out of where the saw blade or an electrical anomaly, and then I'm on my side. In time the everyone out in the chat, Actually, man. Actually, that's fine then, because the first time... Time I'm everyone really out in this swerve. chat, bro. Everyone. An hour, that's another story. I spent a turn climbing this super, super steep hill with my car. I finally got to the top, climbed out of my car to get to where I'm going after it. Turn around and there are broken buttons just sticking. All How can over. you do that? Slammed on the gas. Nobody talking to you, GC. Right back down the hill. I'm talking to the mod. There was a time that I came around a corner and drifted too hard. They must have one mod in the chat. And rolled straight down the cliff. Time, and time out. Everyone in the, the chat, bro. Doctors and one of them pulled me straight into the gateway, and I made a safe exit from there, even though the storm was closing in. I think the experience I'm looking forward to players having the most is gaining that sense of companionship with the car. I mean, sitting in the garage, looking at it, seeing all of these stories that have happened, the crazy right, escapes, the last minute repair jobs, and really to feel like it's their car. I think that's going to be something really special. Pacific Drive is coming to PC and PS5 later this year. And to celebrate, we're giving away this custom-built station wagon. One of you lucky viewers could be driving home in style tonight. Wait, 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 that's literally the car from the game. You can't give that away. I think they're going to need it back. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I, I knew that. Yeah, um, yeah, you knew. You knew, so let's just... Quickly move on while the producers put out some fires. I'm the fire, aren't I? You really are. Cookie Cutter is up next, a techno pop punk Metroidvania starring a badass android. My name is Cherry. I'm different than that mass produced junk. built to entertain my creator. Lately, I can't understand what I feel anymore. When they're not showing Spider-Man, then why is he talking in Spider-Man They voice? will pay for what they determine. I think that's just his regular voice. I'm not gonna Cookie hate Cutter you, I'm is not coming gonna. to PC in 2023, so head on over to the Steam page and hit that wish list button. Okay, it's world premiere time again. again. And fans of the classic <laughs> top down GTA games might get a kick out of this one. Wow, 
The Precinct is a crime-fighting action sandbox game set in the 1980s. Basically everything that I love. <laughs> and it's coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2024. And with that, it's time for our final trailer of the night. No, say it isn't so. I know. Those of you who tuned into last year's Summer Showcase, Bruh. you may remember Ludo, Broken Bird Games' terrifying Bruh. psychological thriller about a person trapped in their own home. Are you serious? It's a little bit PT, a little bit Edith Finch. Are they? Time for an update, don't you think? I do. Peggy, 18.